present for for those man. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy The Vintage Man. Today we got uh he got kicks, we got unbreakable kicks, we got sniper Jones, and we got my man Skinny Gang in the building. Just met on the day, so we're gonna, you know what I'm saying, get used to each other and learn what we like, what sneakers we like, and shit like that. But right now we're gonna let everybody introduce themselves, starting off with the main man, the famous man right there. Unbreakable kicks, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. Oh, what's good, y'all? What's good? Unbreakable kicks. Um, we well, I'm in the unbreakable vault for my homie Da Vinci's for his subscribers. Y'all know that me and Da Vinci's we did a giveaway for the black cement threes. So, you know, this this your boy right here. So, you know, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. I know little bro gonna put all the info in the you know description section below. All right, no, bro. Snake. Sniper. Somebody. We're going on with. We're going on on. It is your boy Shiver Jones and this thing with the homies, man. Skinny, the retro wins kid. Got my boy uh Forrest, aka he got kicks unbreakable, man. The vintage. We all linked up today, man. Hopefully, hope everybody having a great day. It's Saturday. Uh yeah, man. We in this thing, about to have some fun with y'all, about to chop it up a little bit and just just talk, whatever, man. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Who next? Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Talking, bro. What up, everybody? This is He Got Kicks, y'all. We're in here with the homies today. I'm I'm really glad we get to chill because I ain't been able to do this in a while. I've been working 60 hours a week, but be sure to hit that subscribe button. The race to 1K is almost over, 30 away. So let's go ahead and get that 1K tonight. I hope y'all are having a blessed Saturday. Hope you had a good fourth with your family. Let's get it. That boy said he worked 60 hours a week, but still owe me $20. G, what's going on, my guy? <laughs> $20 for what? Nah, nah, I'm, I'm fucking around, bro. I'm playing. You know you're good, bro. I'm playing. Skinny Go game. ahead, bro. Skinny. Go ahead, Skinny. Yo, 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 Skinny Gang. What's good? Your boy, Mr. Skinny here, man. Yo, shout out to the vintage, bro. For, um, Yo, I just linked up with him today, bro. Let me get on his live. Chill. Yo, shout out to Sniper Jones. I'm Breach, bro. Kicks. Retro Wiz Kid, he got kicks. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we just go kick it about some kicks, man. You know, do our thing. Talk our talk. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm on the race to 5K, man. Hey. So, um, I know if you're not already subbed, man, to the vintage, you already sick. So I know, you know, y'all already probably already subbed to me. But if not, check the Skinny Gang out, man, over there at uh, Mr. Skinny. And uh, appreciate the love. Salute. What's going on, everybody, man? It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. Like always, it's good to link up with the bros, man. Talk about shoes. Just chill, man. Make sure y'all hit them sub buttons on everybody, man. And, uh, hey, I'm just I'm just happy to be with the bros right now. Hey. That's everybody but you, bro. But who? You, you. <laughs> you already said, bro. This already said what's good. They already know who I am. You feel me? Facts, 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 facts. You right? Yeah, the good. We his house. We gotta remember that. Yeah, y'all <laughs> mine. You feel me? <laughs> oh. So what we popping it off with, man? Let's start off with this. Me and Skinny, we was already talking about it, but these Jeezys that's still sitting. What's going on with that, y'all boys? I bought mine, so uh, I can talk oh. about it first. I knew they was gonna sit, but I wanted them. I was telling. Breakable that when we was down here, bro, I don't really give a shit if shoes sit or not. If I want it, I don't care if they're at every store. I'm going to go in one of those stores they in. I'm going to buy that shit and leave. I knew the 500 was going to sit. They all black. I got the super moon yellow. Those were dope. I said I was going to get these black ones because I like them. I wore them today. Matter of fact, I went to Wild and Out, the TV show. I went there. I, I had those on. I got some oh, love. Got, got some numbers. They is in Atlanta, bro. Yeah. They is in Atlanta. Yeah, I, I forgot. Forget Cause I um I'm I'm good boys with uh conceited I'm good boys oh, with conceited yeah, yeah. yeah I was talking to him last night about um what were we talking about some friends and family PS and Ys or something like that now I wish I would have been in been in the A for a couple more couple more days man I would have went yeah, to that it was it was late I was out there in a wild style on stage boy giving both <laughs> like a real one. I was out there in the streets but on dog I was in the crowd bro I had them on. <laughs> I had them 500s on there. That was comfortable, man. Like, they cool to me. I cop. I cop. Video drop out of night. all the 500s, yeah. out of all the 500s, that probably would have been the one that I would have actually gone for. But who was I? I was. Who was I talking about? Skinny. Was that you? I was talking to earlier about the. I, I said I like the 700s better. 
Yeah. So yeah. like like I like I know they got the maroon seven hundred. Like if 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 anything, that'll probably be the one that I'll go for. But like those sitting and even the um the butters and to to honestly in my opinion, man, y'all know I don't do Yeezys no more, but the butters is one of the coldest colorways that have dropped in in Back. some time, man. Back. I got For my real. I like yeah. them. Them, but, them butters was nice, bro. I ain't get a See, deal like four, though. I had originally bought the moon yellows just in case I didn't get the butters. But then when I got the butters, I was like, I'm keeping the moon yellows too because they nice. comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You can rock them with anything. And uh, I just like the shoes, so I am gonna get the blacks, but I'm just gonna try to wait and see if they get below retail on StockX because they actually sitting on Yeezy Supply now. So they, they no is? plug for Yeezy Supply. Yeah, they still want, go get them. Yeah, I went to Adidas, man, because when I got my Super Moon Yellow from Yeezy Supply, it took them niggas three months to send my shoes, bro. <laughs> and it's no reason. I swear, like Kim Kardashian is melting yeah, them shit off take, herself, bro. Time, Kim Kardashian is melting them off herself, bro. She is putting the the damn packages through UPS herself. It should never take that long, bro. I'm done. <laughs> so I got my hey, from Adidas. You ain't the only person I heard complain about Yeezy supply ship time, bro. And the really? thing is, they improved. It used to take three months, G. They can't. They can't take as long as StockX though, G. Ain't they take oh, way longer, and you paying twenty dollars for shipping like it's expedited. You paying twenty uh, bucks? Oh yeah, they hone y'all with that one, bro. Adidas <laughs> give you free shipping, and you'll get your package in three days. Top. Yup, that's Top. that's why I went to Adidas, man. I went to Adidas. Yeah, but I mean, you gotta look though. It's not just Yeezys that. I mean, human races ain't popping for none either. I feel like it's the whole G. It's 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 the it's Adidas as a whole right now, bro. But Drake the thing, coming back the thing, to save them. Yeah, but the thing with the thing with human races is they gonna hold their value because unlike Yeezy, they don't re-release. You know what I'm saying? They don't re-release, and and it's not too many colorways like like it is with a Yeezy. Yeezy, well, like they they re-release a lot. They like they re-release a lot now. They drop Zebras and everything again. Yeah, yeah. but the last three human races that dropped, bro, they dropped down here in Chicago again. They did a restock, bro. I'm talking about flooded, like 200, 200 per colorway. G. Damn, why ain't, why ain't hit you up? I don't know, bro, but they was they was heavy in the street, bro. Mugs were selling for like ten dollars over retail, bro. Oh, that hurt my soul. The last, the last, the last three human race colorway. Yeah. Y'all hear the man intro? You hear the man outro? <laughs> I had a break for the year. <laughs> 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 you know, who left that, bro? Bro, that's, 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 that's that, yeah, that's my best friend, man. He, Isn't he that was, greedy? Yeah, he been my best friend since uh freshman year of high school, bro. bro so tell him, tell him let me get a verse, bro. We can we can yeah. run it with. Yeah, bro. Like, like he he's supposed to he's supposed to be well, we supposed to be doing a video for it. Uh it was supposed to drop this year, but he pushed it back. I'm like, bro, Muzz wanna know the song, G. Yeah, bro, I'm like, you, know, you might have to drop that joint this year, man. Like but that, that part crazy. when he was like Y'all, I'm happy and I do my little dance. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, though, man. You know, a, a sneaker YouTube channel, I told him it could potentially put them on, man. So I'm like, you, you might have to do this video for this song pretty soon, man. Yeah, you never oh. know, bro. Yeah, that's never. Hey, that's yeah. Like, hey, but talking about the Yeezys, though, man, that's something about uh, Snapper Jones that – that I like, man. He bought what he like. Is when I we talking about the the Michigan twelves. I was shocked. He was like, they trash. You didn't say they was trash. You talking about? No, no, I did, I did. Yeah, I did. I know they, they, they trash, bro. Me, I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, you made me think about the shoe in a different way, but you you, you couldn't change my opinion, bro. They still fired. Yeah, but that's yeah, why I, I rock with you, though, bro. You're not easily swayed. You like what you like, just like me. And yeah. I don't like when niggas call me a hype beast because I buy five hundreds. Because like I explained. They not hyped. They sitting. Number one. Number two. They ten dollars over retail. So if that's a hype B shoe, <laughs> then that's every shoe that ever dropped. They ten dollars yeah. over retail and they sitting. That's not a hype B shoe. So don't call me a hype B. Yeah, I've been called every name in the game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got them, uh, them tens, them uh, Steve Webbies, or yeah, gee, I, I just picked them joints up, man. I want some just some random, just some random stock X stuff, bro. But. The thing is with the thing is with the Michigan Twelves, bro. Like I've been telling people, man. Like yeah, right now, them things ain't doing nothing. But bro, wait till wait till NCAA time, bro. Wait people till I say that time, too. Man. Like 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 I was about to pop off because I got two of the sample joints, and I was about to pop off one of the other samples. 
But then I'm just like, nah, man, let Michigan win next year, bro. It's going to be a wrap. That shoe's going to go for like two times the value. So I'm just like, man, I'll just hold on to it, bro, and then just see what it do. But I, I actually like the 12s that actually came out, the retail pair. Um, simply, I like those better than the, um, the sample, just, just the sock liner, bro, because with that yellow, that that uh, blue dye, it be bleeding on the yellow on the inside of the uh, sock liner. So yeah. I actually like the blue inside better because you can't see when the, um, when the dye bleeds. That damn North Carolina 3, if they ever release that, watch out. Oh, that's dead, bro. That's like that's that's, that's like a five thousand dollar shoe right now, man. I want to pull a trigger, bro, but I know if I pull a trigger on that shoe, I'm not waking up alive, bro. Especially, <laughs> at the crap, bro. Yo, do you have a uh, break? Do you have a uh, Myro Sevens, bro? Yeah, I got those. Ah, oh, man, you my role model, G. I meant to tell you that before you left. <laughs> nah, <laughs> God nah. damn, I want those so bad. Yeah, what's crazy about those though, G, is that the the laces go for three hundred dollars, bro. Bro, it's a man. The shoes, crazy. the shoes are stupid expensive by themselves, but the lace pack, without the lace pack, you losing about four hundred dollars in value on the on the shoes. Bro, look, check this out. Jimmy Butler is sponsored by Jordan, and he had to beg for that shoe. For real? That's yeah. crazy. And he's oh, yeah. sponsored by Jordan. He had to beg for it. Bro, I paid like twelve hundred for them joints, G. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, like 1200 bro. Straight okay. from uh straight I from I need a, I need a sub, bro. That's I need a sub. Ain't it? Man, that's <laughs> crazy. I've, hey, I've only done that shit once. <sighs> that that cause. Yeah. I ain't never doing it again. Yeah, well, bro. It's not, a, it's not a good feeling though, is it, G? No. It's not a good feeling, bro. Like I, Bro, after I picked up those PEs back there, G, like I literally just sat in this room, bro, and just like <laughs> I really just dropped this about this much bread on, on these shoes, bro. You really like look at yourself and reevaluate your life, like bro. Yeah, you stare in the mirror. That's, like, that's like that's like two weeks in Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? This is you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's this tough. Is, that's tough. Damn. But, but on the but on the plus side, like I said on Skinny Channel, though, you know, y'all, we all got channels, bro. So when YouTube send you that 1099, you know what I'm saying, and you gotta and you gotta file it with your taxes, and they looking at oh the vintage, he he didn't just made five thousand this year. We ain't take out no taxes, bro. I need at least two grand from you. So with my shoes, bro, with the shoes, I just write that off. You know, this is display. You know what I'm saying? This is all display. So I need this for my channel. Yep. So, so all these shoes, bro. This is an instant write off. I'm writing all that off, man. This is a display. Hell yeah, that's smart. That's smart. That's smart. It is, bro. Write it all off. You wanna know? <laughs> you are, you're showing the vintage subs shit that's coming out in 2025. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> You and Snipe, like, like Snipe had got me when we was in Atlanta, bro. He, he said something like, yo, yeah, you got some stuff like 2020. y'all didn't get those car fours, bro, one of y'all? Huh? How y'all didn't get those car fours? One of y'all should have got those car fours, bro. And, and who? Who? Down in Atlanta? For a hundred. For a hundred. Yeah. Oh man, I Unbreakable really talked me out of it because I was about to, but he kind of talked me out yeah, of it. Y'all could have just went to any boutique and been like, "Yo, give me two, two fifty. He kind of scared me, bro. He scared yeah. me a little bit. He's he like, he, "I ain't gonna do it." Play. I was like, "But well, shit, I ain't gonna do it." Yeah. And, and Snipe though, Snipe, one, somebody on my IG, somebody on my IG was, uh, they messaged me after seeing the video. It was like, you know, thanks for putting up the video. I just went online and bought them. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm like, dang. I told you you can buy. I told you, uh, you can buy the line too. We uh, said that shit going to the car. You like, man, I'm probably regret it. And we yeah, did. It, it, people, it is. So many people thought they was fake. They're like, man, why y'all clickbait? And I'm like, bro, this shit ain't fake. But it, the bad I'm thing is, like, when you do YouTube, it's so many clickbait titles. We don't have the benefit of the doubt no more. Like when mm -hmm. we say it's real, niggas don't believe it. When we say it's not clickbait, people don't believe it. They don't give us the benefit of the doubt. Them shit is real, bro. But I mean, I mean, even even if we talked about it, so so my video was like 14 minutes, and I think I talked about the shoe for like 45, 45 seconds to a minute. Mother was still like, that's clickbait. I'm like, bro, yeah. we still talked yeah. about did you want the whole 15 minutes to be about the shoe? I'm like, bro. it's a beat up there called for Like, what what more do you want me to talk about? But that's people who don't make content, though. If you don't make YouTube videos, you say shit like that. Ain't, ain't no creator saying nothing like that. They know what's up. 
Wiz, why are you flexing? Bro, I was thinking that too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Like Wiz over there looking like uh what's what's the uh, brother from Harlem Heat? Uh, like, so looking like Bobby my, nigga, oh, my, oh, nigga, my, nigga, my nigga Luke Cage. What's good, bro? No nah, man, I'm over here. I'm over hey, here setting, setting, setting up some stuff for the game too. Cause when I get done with this, I'm gonna play this game. Nah, you trying to get you trying to get that six percent of the female following that we get on. <laughs> 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 You ain't slick, G. And that's one thing me and Snipe was talking about, man. It's just like, how can we get like like females to, you know, to to come to the channel, bro? Because it's it's a lot of female sneakerheads, bro. Yeah. But it's but it, it's tough, man. Like me and Snipe, we bumped into one at uh at uh the foot action in Atlanta. You know, like had she not said nothing, bro, I would have never known. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got in trouble for vlogging, and then she like, I know who y'all are. But ain't like she was just gonna come up to us and be like, "Oh, you on break? Well, you Sniper Jones? You know yeah, we had to get in trouble. <laughs> we had to get in trouble for her to even say like she knew who we were. So it's just like, how can we expand and make our channels, you know, more female friendly? I say you we know? keep showing muscles like my man's. That's man, what I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, so, say, I say review some GS uh, sizes. That's that's why I tried to do when I did. Uh, I did a video actually. Um, when I was talking to you about the quads, my homegirl she did the video with me with the ones on my channel. She mm -hmm. the one that she, she the plug for shoes. She can get shoes out here and stuff. That's why I did a video with her to try to reach out to females. See, I should I should have did those those aqua fives that dropped my boy fine. Like I had them like two three weeks ago, but I don't just think like that because my wife ain't no sneakerhead. You know, yeah. so like, bro, if my wife was a sneakerhead, bro, I feel like it'll be a granted, it'll hurt my pockets because I'm gonna have to buy some stuff for her too. But just like um the video me and her did when I told her how expensive my shoes was, yes. bro, that was the fastest growing video I ever had. I mean, of course, niggas was clicking on it because I had my wife in there, but I mean, it still got you know female attention from the video too. So I you mean, had another video with uh. What's the the girl that do the customs? She oh like, yeah, uh, uh, kicks by Esco. I mean, she's an attractive girl. I can't say that loud, but she's an attractive girl. <laughs> so, uh, you know, of course, of course, dudes gonna they gonna, they gonna click on it. G, they gonna hey, click. I went on. down in the comments on her video. I heard dudes like, "Yo, you look good and all that, but shit, you gonna pay for them brand ones, girl." <laughs> 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 you ain't that fine enough to get no free shoes. That was pretty much the same. That's Them crazy. dudes know they would have gave that girl free shoes. Oh, yeah. But plus some, G. That's crazy, man. Girls get away. That, I mean, and I ain't even hating, bro. I'm, I'm about to sound like a hater, but I'm fuck it is what it is. <laughs> if you cute and you a girl, no matter what the hell you do on YouTube, you will grow way faster than yeah. us. That's it fast. just is what it is, bro. I, call me a hater if you want to. I've seen so many untalented, badass chicks on YouTube with like a million followers. A million subs and they video be trash. Man. And like I said, I'm not hating it, just is what it is. Bro. My wife, she watches most of them too. Yeah, but they 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 look good though. I give them that. Yeah, bro. Like one just hit a meal. I'm like, damn, she hit a million in a year and a half. She bad. I'm like, I'm like shoot, this is a struggle. She bad, man. I think she came from gaming too. Man, she got kicks, man. Her channel be moving and she don't post every day or nothing. Yeah, she don't, G. Yeah, a lot of her sub came from gaming too. Yeah, she do play 2K. Yeah. Word? Yeah, yeah she yeah, played 2K. Play. She was that's doing that. Dream, low key, bro. Doing kicks. That's my dream, low key. She played she she played 2K and got kicks. Where's she at, bro? Hold on, what's her IG? He snipe, snipe about to make a bet. Get if you if I beat you in 2K, like you like you like give get me a feature on your like channel. Like <laughs> time to go in them DMs one time, bro. What's that? What's the IG? I think she got kicks. I think it's she got kicks, the same as her uh YouTube. see. What content, what content y'all putting out tonight? I'm putting up the video on the Yeezy sitting. Uh-huh. I'm doing homework tonight. You doing homework, G? Yeah, man, I, I got a busy life, bro. Go ahead, go ahead and tell us, like, like I, I know we all, you know, we similar in a lot of ways, but we, we still different, too. So, like, what you mean, uh, the ventures, you, like, homework? Like, I don't know, like, are you in school or what, is it the baby? Like, what is it, bro? Oh, no, nah, you know, I just had a baby on the 28th. 
I'm at home. I'm in school. So I'm in school right now. So I'm trying to get uh, back in the States, go to college in Texas right now. So oh, gee. yeah. And I got a, I got a wife. So uh, trying to come join me out there. Yeah, you, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't let us know. Did you, you had a boy or girl? I got it. I had a girl. Yeah, man. Yeah. Welcome That's to the club, up. bro. Yeah. Congrats, bro. I'm, I'm pulling a Drake. I'm pulling a Drake. I'm hiding a, uh, <laughs> you're not hiding your kid from the world. You hiding the world from your kids. Yeah, you know? man. Hey, hey little girl. Let's not act like we don't see the Lakers jersey, though. Huh? Let's not act like we don't see the Lakers jersey. Like the Lakers jersey just ain't fire. Lincoln, Lincoln, roll call. Nah. Yeah, I know you picked up the ones today, G. Who me? Yeah, you got the jersey on. I didn't. Even, I didn't even realize that uh, these went with them shoes, bro. I ain't, the I ones trash, girl. I ain't, I ain't really. Oh, no. I ain't really. Like, <laughs> nah. I know the quality good, but I'm not a matchy matchy person. So for me to be going out to get some shoes that match exactly like this jersey, I'm not gonna wear it, bro. Yeah, bro. I, I've never really like like uh, sniper hit me. Sniper was like, "Gee, how many Jordan shorts you got?" I'm like, bro. <laughs> These are Jordan shorts from when I was a manager at Finish Line, bro, like four years ago. Gee, I'm just now wearing them. Like, like I, I, I've never been the one to, like, battle shoes that match the shirt, that match the shorts. Yeah, I've yeah, never, bro. When I was working at Finish Line, bro, they used to, like, irk, that irked me. Gee, I'm like, bro, you got to match head to toe. But, great. Remember at Finish Line, they wanted you to do it. Head to toe. Oh, yeah, you do a head to toe. You right, bro. You you get more commission on selling them clothes than you did the shoes. Hey, well, whenever I'm you there as a manager, did they still do the commission for the managers? Uh, when, when I was leaving, bro. When I was leaving, they were switching over. So the managers was on uh on uh base pay. Managers. Yeah. Wait to see uh, base that pay. Split jersey. What split jersey? That Chicago Bulls jersey with them homies to home. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you, oh, niggas. Geez, geez. So, I'm so Drake already did it. Who? No, he nah, did I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, nah, bro. Y'all know I'm basic. I'm a t-shirt in front of the camera I type. I seen Unbreakable Breakout. I think you had the white Chicago Bulls jacket on with it. Did I? No, I didn't, bro. Break hand out here with a whole Supreme drop on. He had Supreme <laughs> shirt. No. Hey, hey, man. Somebody hit me up tonight. They would they seen your picture on IG. They talk about yo, unbreakable bleed, unbreakable of blood. He throwing the <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that. I seen hey, they thought you were throwing up big bees on the pink, bro. <laughs> but I won, G. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I hope they ain't trying to associate me with that mess, G. I what you were throwing break, break. I was doing this, bro. I was doing but this. That, Bro, bro, you had you had, right, you had, you had, you had, you had some crip niggas in my DMs, bro, talking about wait, wait till we get at you. I'm like, right. oh. <laughs> they're like, they like, they like, we'll see him at Sneaker Con LA. I know, right? <laughs> You're going to be in Iowa safe and sound, man. I'm going to be out there getting wrapped yeah. up, man. I, uh, I hope ain't no game bang going on in Iowa, bro. But yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, hating, I'm hating that I'm going to miss LA, G. I'm hating that I'm going to miss it, but it's all good, though. Now you got a whole event around you. Those are goals, my guy. Yeah, man. So I, I just gotta, I just gotta continue to promote that. I know they doing most of the promoting, but I mean, it's still gonna look good for me to promote it too. So after this whole Levi giveaway that I'm doing with the Suplex app, then I'm gonna start promoting that uh, that event some more. Any of y'all going to LA for sneaker con? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to I'm it. Speaking that giveaway, bro, you might as well just spice it up. Just give it to me. You know what I'm saying? Let's just do something. <laughs> Well, I say we just go for it, bro. You know, yeah, I need them. Right, right, right after the podcast, right after the podcast, Sniper Jones went, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> nah, I don't know what y'all talking about, bro. That would be the biggest. That would, yeah, that would be sick. Pull it. Pull it. Uh, I, I instantly lose like 10K. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Oh, man. Y'all are lazy. Kais is giving all the meats to his homeboys. Yeah, I'll be thinking so. Yeah, G, speak, speaking of like that whole... Like older, older YouTube, you know, feel how y'all feel is like we like the new face of YouTube. How y'all feel about as far as sneaky YouTube? How y'all feel about that? You said it perfectly, and when we was talking the last time, you said we the new wave. Mm -hmm. no, I'm feel, not part of wave, bro. I'm not a game banger. I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'm not I feel game. like if if anybody know any of our channels, they kind of know all of us mm -hmm. in a way because. Yeah. 
because we're all linked in some in some type of way. We've been on lives together. We we chop it up together. You know what I'm saying? Like we done shouted each other out in, in videos. I mean, I think that's it right there, bro. I feel like we I feel like we help promote each other, bro. And that's I was, how it should be. We talked about and, that. And I was talking to, and I was talking to Snipe about that. I'm just like. I'm like, you know, with some of the other people, bro, it's like, it's almost like you got to beg for like a shout out, but I'm just like, we ain't, we, we ain't going to do that, man. It's just like no. myself, myself a year ago, bro, like at SneakerCon Chicago, I would have been all trying to get up in, you know, other people's vlogs and stuff. But I'm just like, man, it's just to a point where you got to, you got to put yourself on before you can ask for anything. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. It's just like I feel like we all work and we all grinding to to get to where we want to get in. I mean, of course, you know, all all of them got plenty of subs, and I feel like they could potentially be trying to help us out. But I mean, if they don't want to help us out, man, they don't they don't got to help us out, you know. But I feel like for for some people who actually see us, you know, in the comments, I feel like they should be like, all right, man, well, let's help these guys out. But I feel like for the most part, maybe they just look at it like it's competition and. You know, I can't afford to, you know, try to put him on because we get it the is. same amount of views as it is right now. You know what I'm saying? You're right, but it shouldn't be like that. Because like I said, on YouTube, people don't understand. Well, people that don't make content, they don't understand. There's different categories of YouTube. We got people that do certain things. And it's like sneakers is the only category where it's more competition than love. So yep. like you look at comedy dudes, they make comedy videos together every day. You look at vloggers, they vlog together every day look at guys who do pranks reactions they interact with each other every day for some reason sneakers is a different breed everybody like whiz. yeah people want to beef people want to hate nah, people wanna, like whiz kid bro <laughs> people want to flex and show biceps you know it's all types <laughs> of things <laughs> that go on in a hey, sneaker community, no. bro. <laughs> speaking of that but, man, i, I plan yeah, to be up with you next uh next week bro who me yeah bro what in LA? Are you coming to Atlanta? I'm coming home. I'm going to GA. Oh hell yeah, bro! Let's do it. I'm gonna be out with DJ Academics on everything, bro. What's up? <laughs> I, um, it's a, gonna... it's it's funny. I met um y'all probably know him. Uh, I think he in Atlanta too. Shumanati. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. Shumanati. Yeah, yeah, man. He you know he hit me up, chopped it up with me and stuff. You know, just you know, support me. I was like, I appreciate it. Yeah, you know cool, cool as hell. But it would be good if you can come home with some of them quiet threes, though. Bro, oh, that, oh, hey, oh, if oh, I can make, yeah. if I can bring them home instead of having to ship them, bro, you, I can, I bring them on the airplane with me. Oh man, gee, that'll be love, bro. I'm but, looking for a personal pet before I get anybody stuff out. I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to move, bro. I'm coming back to the states in November. I'll leave in like in October. Uh huh. And I'm about to move to San Antonio, Texas. Oh, that was oh. at OBO. G, yeah, I'll, I'll be there soon, bro. Get you Whataburger, bro. That, bro. I'm still talking about that, boy. I that 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 so days, bad. Week. Say that again. I said you hitting GA next week. Well, next, I, I'll be there. I'll be there. Not, not this week, but like within the next week. Like I'll be there like Monday, Tuesday, the next week. My bad. Man, I might shoot down there. I'm right up the street. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be, I'll be home until August 10th. My um my parents they having their wedding vow renewal. Oh, that's what's up, G. Oh, so, what's up. you know what I'm saying? I definitely can get down there for a day. Trying to just go go out there, you know what I'm saying? Let um some of my family ain't never met my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like my grandma and them, they ain't never met my daughter because she was born over here, and up, uh, bro? They ain't seen my son. I don't really go home like that because man, it's expensive to fly. It's it's expensive to fly home to the states from Germany. I bet. What, what about what about like um citizenship? So is your daughter considered an American uh, even born yeah. over there? Yeah, she got dual citizen. My son and my daughter got dual citizenship. Same for you, the vintage. Uh, my daughter is a immigrant right now. She ain't got no papers yet. What? Nah, she ain't got no papers right now. I'm bringing her home just yet, Jay. You know who we got running it over here, bro. In it. <laughs> I'm try to come back over there not until she get them papers. And I don't even like to be political on my channel, bro. But you love bro, so you know, just make sure you get all that, all that straight before, cause it's wild. Oh, in, in Chicago, bro, they they blocked the biggest, they blocked the biggest uh highway off today, bro. Protesting, man, it's it's crazy, G. Yeah. It's bro. crazy, 
I bet they had to hit some toes. Right. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> listen. Hey, I Chicago. Got hit up, I got hit up for them toes when I went to when I went to Chicago before I moved to Germany. Oh yeah, bro. You gonna get here with that dollar twenty five every five miles, bro. We don't play. I Bye. thought that I had paid that joint online. Come to find out, my mama sent me a message somehow, and hey, you owe Chicago like three hundred dollars now. I Ooh. said, I said for what? She was like toes. I said, boy, I paid them things. She said, well, they said it was late, so you owe them. But <laughs> Ain't no telling how much that dude Ben oh uh uh he got kicked. Hey, he probably man. owed like three thousand dollars. He ran every toll for two days. <laughs> he did like yes, he said, fuck them tolls. <laughs> <laughs> he, he put the he put the finger in the camera and everything, bro. He probably right. owed like three G's, bro. And he was in his mom with. No. Hey. <laughs> my Uncle Sam, Sam come knocking at his door with a purge mask on, Betty he paid. Hey. Man, that shit was hilarious. Hey, tell me why he said he tried to pay it, and he said that it didn't show no balance, so he said I didn't pay it. <laughs> All right. Gee, yeah. so what, what, what y'all think about them Concord 11s, though, bro? I'm looking at mine now, bro, and, and I and I don't know how I feel about that 45 on the back, G. Yeah, how you feel about that? Bro, what don't you have? Got him already? You're getting frustrated. Oh, no, man. no, not yet, G. I'm, I'm looking I'm like, at like, the same, bro. I see you already got the 13s. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the thirteen, bro. But I mean, they they pushed the date up. They pushed the date to the uh to the fourth, bro. So I'm once like, that happened, bro, it was it was easier access. But the crazy thing is, I'm glad that I was able to get them early because I'll be in Iowa, so you know I ain't got to worry about you know no crazy stuff for that release, man. But what y'all y'all feeling them? Y'all feeling them elevens, man? Or y'all wanted a twenty three on them joints? I'm honestly I'm a fan of the hot pad leather, so me I, too. That's not a problem with me. 45 on the back is dope. I think it serves the purpose of nostalgia. When all the other pairs go out, these would probably be like the Space Jam would be the only two pairs with 45. So it's going to mean something later on down the line. Because that's what's going to differentiate this, this pair from all the other pairs that drop from now on, I, I think. Reason, reason, why I, reason why I don't think that they stitched the 45 is because the 45 sample, like they got a sample pair with the 45 on it. It's not stitched. It's not stitched. So it's not. So, but... Th- and then in theory, I'm thinking like, why didn't they stitch it? Because they never give you anything exactly like the sample. Yeah. Something has to be different. But the sample didn't have high cut patent leather. So that's the biggest difference between the sample 45s and the joints that's coming out, man. And that's the only thing about Jordan brand, bro, that be getting me sometimes, bro, is that, you know, they'll come out with a sample shoe, right? And then, like, for instance, those, uh, what were they called? The the 13s, the predominantly red with a little, predominantly white with a little bit of red in them that came out last year. History of Flight. Of flight. History of Flight joints. So the sample of the History of Flight joints, like the sock liner is like a diamond pattern, like silk sock, uh, sock liner. So it, it's very close to the sample, but it's not actually like the sample. So that's the only thing about Jordan brand, man. Like, if y'all going to give us something, that's supposed to be a sample like sample like shoe. Give us that stuff exactly like the sample, bro. That's that's my only thing. That's my only yeah. thing, man. My uh, only thing with I the was, eleven was I like the high cut pattern leather too, but I was just like, hey, just let me get the um the twenty three. I'm still high cut. Give me twenty three. I'm still gonna get three pair of them joints, but still though. Yeah, man. I'm gonna double up on them things. <laughs> what was you gonna say? It's supposed to be a million, uh, bro. I gotta get them. I was broke whenever they first came out, so I couldn't get them before. So hey, I'm broke now. I'm gonna still try to get them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, snipe! I ain't broke. I be paying bitches tuition. Oh man, <laughs> that's my boy. <laughs> Sniper must have put you on to some game using uh, when y'all was together. <laughs> Hell no, I can't do that. I can't afford that. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, oh, off topic, topic snipe. I meant to tell you this. Bosnian girl uh, that we went over. Oh, <laughs> oh no. This is air, bro. This no, is- no. She went to jail. <laughs> For what, bro? I ain't going to get in trouble by listening to this, Emma. Yeah, I'm not listening. I'm putting my shit on mute. <laughs> hey, I'm thinking, what's up with them 13s, bro? I'm going to have to hit you up, <laughs> man. What thirteen? The uh, the the uh, he got games. Yeah, I don't know. A hey, whiskey, we getting them down here, bro. Man, I heard that they supposed to get them, but I ain't gonna count on our kicks getting them. That's to what be I'm honest, saying, bro. So, I, like, really, I I think feel like being over here hinder my my content or even vlogging. Yeah, I seen I ain't vlogging like 
You know what happened, bro? I just thought about that, man. Yeah, yeah. damn, me I too. Where, I don't know where to go, bro. And then this man, Wiz kid, don't be hitting me up no more, bro. So it's like, damn. Bro. Oh, don't try that, bro. You, you got your family in town right damn, now, bro. Wiz. Hold on, Wiz. Damn. First, 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 you didn't get skinny to Oak Yellow. Damn. Now, now you I'm doing, now you doing hey, I tried to get them Oak <laughs> Yellows, man. I told him, I said, bro, size 13 in them things. Because he offered me to give him a... a he told me to tell him that he would give him the uh, clay greens, mm-hmm. but I couldn't find nobody with a thirteen, bro, that was trying to trade or that really wanted to sell them things, bro. That man, man just I was like, home and do Shit, curl. Been all the giveaways only went up to twelve. But but the vintage, you 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 said, bro, you said that you know it's hard to to come up with some content, bro. But that that's that's when you get creative, bro, and that's what's gonna make your channel. That much better, bro. It's, it's going because it's like it's like you got to pull a rabbit out of a hat, bro, in order to you know do something different. You know that's pretty much like that's pretty much being a sneakerhead in an area that doesn't get any sneakers. So what you got to do on your channel, bro? You got to you you damn near got to change your channel to an informative to an informative channel, bro. How to get you know how to how to use the Foot Locker app? That's why I'm, I'm gonna do that video. You know. How to use a full locker foot action champs app because people still don't know nothing about these apps, bro. bro. They ain't use them. They still don't. Yeah. So I mean, it may be useless over there in uh in Germany, bro. But over here in the states, man, they don't know nothing about a one minute head start. You know what I'm saying? It's just like sometimes you gotta recycle your your um your content because you're you gotta remember you're gaining. So just say if you gain a thousand subscribers, what if they don't go back and watch your old videos? So they clueless to everything that you talked about in the past. Right. So it's like you yeah. still gotta recycle. So that's why sometimes like I'll put out a video how to do this, how to do this, how to do that, because yeah, I did that video at 30k, but now you know I'm at X amount of subscribers right now who who probably don't want to go back and watch a year old video. So they want to get this new content, or, or if they're a new sneakerhead, they just blind to everything. So it's like you got to continue to put your subscribers on game, bro. You, yeah. you get what I'm saying? You got to continue to put them on game because just because you talked about how to lace up phone posit a year ago, okay, we still got phone posits that's still dropping, bro. I know that was your biggest video. So yeah. it's just like maybe those people who rocking phones back then, maybe those people who, who subscribe to your channel back then, maybe they just getting into phones. Yep. So it's like it's like it's like you teaching. It's like it's like you a teacher every year. You got to start over with that same lesson, bro. So that's one thing that I learned, man. It's one thing to to do an unboxing. It's one thing to to get on your channel and, and talk about stuff. But the information is what people really need, bro. Because and, and this ain't no shot to any other the Mount Rushmores of of sneaker YouTubing, but they never taught they subscribers how to do stuff, bro. It was always a real versus fake. It was never how to cop these for retail or, you know, how to buy on eBay or or how to get, you know, how to get free shipping on GOAT or StockX. That's what people want. You know what I'm saying? They they don't really want to see us unbox shoes every single time. And that's one thing that I'm I'm learning with my channel, too, because I told my wife, I'm like, damn, man, June was a slow month. I'm like, what am I doing in June? What what did I do in May that I'm that I'm not doing in June? And in May I was doing more informative stuff, bro. They yeah. love that stuff, man. More information, more information, more information. See, like a lot of people don't know that Hibbits is now with the app. I didn't know Hibbits had an app, bro. Hibbets I mean, ain't no Hibbits around me. Hibbits app is the worst, bro. Yeah, that shit sucks, bro. They don't even do it like at six o'clock. They give you a random ass rat. They give you like a random ass, like a. Ticket if you win at any time. That's yeah, just I'll inform y'all about the Hibbit app then. <laughs> Are you working at this, right? Yeah, I work at Hibbit. Hey, but but can you put, but can you put out that type of content though? Huh? I was saying, can you put out that type of content without getting in trouble? Yeah. You can? Okay. Cause I like I said, like when I was working at Finish Line, I could never have a channel, bro. I couldn't show no shoes a month early. You know, they think I'm taking the, you know, the product home and things like that. Cause working in those corporations, bro, it's kind of like you restricted to what you can do, what you can say, and all yeah. kind of things like that. Cause I remember when the when the uh the Levi's, the blue joints dropped, the foot action downtown Chicago, they they went up $25 on their shoes without telling anybody. So instead of charging a two twenty five retail, they charge two fifty. So I'm just like, and, and they can do that, bro, because it's you know a suggested retail. It's not saying this is actually retail. 
it's suggested that we can sell this shoe at this price. Once you get a shoe from Nike, once once Nike ship you your shoe, you can sell that shoe for a thousand dollars if you want to. Nike don't say, okay, you bought this shoe from us, you sell it at this price right here. Once Nike get they check, they don't care what you do with that shoe. But once yeah. you, once you get that shoe in a store, it's all up to the store to sell it for whatever price they want. So at Foot Action State Street, know that they the only store in the world that's getting what whatever shoe. Let's say they the only ones getting the he got games. And if we know retail is one ninety, but they say okay, well we are gonna charge two twenty for this shoe. You don't think they gonna sell out? And plus they making yeah. an extra thirty on top, bro. So must be complaining at us saying we resellers, bro. We going to the reseller every day, bro, because they only buying a shoe from Nike for like eighty seven dollars. Yeah, and then they're selling it to us for 190. I mean, yep. it's a lot of people don't know, bro. It's yeah. a lot that they don't know, man. They do, they do that out here. It's the store out here that does that. Yeah, when I was working at Champs, I worked for Champs when I was in the Army, too. I don't think a lot of y'all know that. But when I was working there, you couldn't. I can never get a job at a sneaker store, bro. I just can't. <laughs> yeah, bro. Can never believe. hire me, bro. Be a job at Champs, bro. I couldn't believe that shit. But, anyways. um. You can't take pictures of shoes. You can't nope. sell shoes because they was fault. They was watching you on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, bro. Instagram, and if you did that, you was like automatically fired. You never <laughs> channel is a wrap. You can't have no channel doing that. Yeah, so you can't have a YouTube channel working. Hey, hey, Y'all must can. not watch my vids. You say what? Y'all must not watch my vids. I know, but but you don't you don't work in the store. I know somebody they oh, give okay. you the shoe. Yeah, you don't you don't work inside. You're not a champs employee. So you could do that, but but the dude who the dude who giving you the shoe, he can't show his face on there. Okay, it's yeah, yeah. Like I be I be in their back room doing it. See, here's the thing that I I found like a loophole. I can't show it with Hibbit's shoe. I can go to wherever else and do it. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. like I be in. I'm not gonna say what store's back room, but I'll be in a certain store's back room. Showing the shoe, mm -hmm. they don't care. I can do it like the Katrina. I did that like a month early, uh, but yeah, like with the Hibbets app, like because like a lot of people don't know about it, so I can tell certain things about the app that I know that won't get me in trouble. But my Hibbets don't really watch this, I guess. But uh, fuck them. <laughs> But um, <laughs> damn! Yeah, when, when won't you lose your job, though, bro? <laughs> damn! I, I can get another one. Damn! But, uh, so with the Hibbets app, you have, of course, until the Friday before to put in for the raffle. It has nothing to do. There's no head start. There's nothing. It's actually all random. It, you know, everybody's random. Everybody has an even playing field. No employees. Employees have to put in for the raffle. So you can't put anything on, uh, like, you know, put it, like, put one to the side, like what foot action can do mm -hmm. or foot locker and all. bullshit, man. <laughs> Cause I yeah. think whoever spend the most money should get a little head start. Yeah, I mean, but it makes it fair, so that way nobody can complain. Yeah. Because everybody, because here's the thing: Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs, Finish Line, all of them. You always got to hear somebody smart ass mouth. I want my fucking shoe. I spend this fucking much money. <laughs> I hate them motherfuckers. Like I'm just like <laughs> I'm like no fuck y'all. I can't. It's on y'all, but um. And then also it says you have until seven o'clock or you'll get your results by seven o'clock. Really what it is, you're going to get your results before four o'clock because everybody has, they do 12 to four is like the confirmation time period. And after four, it's like four or five. And after that time period, then it goes through every store and everything like that. And then you have the store manager, me, I have to go in and print out all the winners find their box put it on there stuff like that so really it says till seven but you're gonna know way before seven you're gonna know between four and five p.m if you got your shoe or not honestly yeah, bro, get that bro, damn that, like, my post notifications on they ain't even let me know i just yeah. told me i forfeited my beer i'm like damn. you have to check it like you really have to be on it yeah like, bro because like i said my post notification was on i want a pair of butters and so I didn't even know. It didn't hit me up. Like I'm like, what the fuck? It said, it said I forfeited my pair. Luckily, I got a weight list pair. Well, I was gonna go to hit it and swing on who had the counter, you know, dog. That's that's what that's what uh that's what the Foot Locker champs and uh 
foot action apps, they do that now, bro. Like if you wait listed G, like sometimes the push push notification works, sometimes it don't. So yeah. like for the OVO eights, when 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 I had that wait listed on those, bro. Um, I'm like, man, you know, like 30 minutes later, I'm like, bro, let me check it again. And then the time was ticking. So I'm like, bro, they wouldn't go tell me that I was. Yeah, on so it's yeah, like sometimes you got to just, you got to monitor, you got to monitor it, bro. Cause it's yep. been plenty of times, bro. And they were like, you didn't confirm. I'm like, bro, y'all had me waitlisted, G. So, I mean, it, it's all, it's all about just checking it, bro. But, but I, was I was waitlisted with the blue moons and, uh, I, didn't know, so I didn't confirm it. But the next day, the Sean Witherspoons, I got reserved a pair, so I got those. So I'll take those instead. Oh, wait, y'all had Sean Witherspoons on the app? No, on Nike. Whenever Nike, uh, oh man, I, boy, I, I I was good with Nike for like two releases, bro, and then it went back to straight L season G. But I want I want to ask y'all a question, bro, because I mean we all get you know those comments in our uh comment section, bro, that just like get under our skin. Like what what comments, bro? Do y'all just be looking at me like, damn, bro, man. If I can really see you face to face, bro, it, it'll, it'll really be a wrap, bro. Because I didn't, I didn't heard it from, from the moon and back, bro. So I'm just trying to see it from y'all. Like, what 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 be getting under y'all skin, G? I'm going to go last, bro. Because, I, I, man, I'm going to go last. One of them, I remember one, this dude, I just remember his name. It's like Trayvon or Trevin or whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, remember, like, hey, that's 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 video, every video, man, this man coming. Oh, you a bitch ass nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you like you don't know shit about shoes. Just quit. Your channel you sucks. No, nah, bro, I like it because I'ma just send a laugh emoji. <laughs> we, need, we need them views, man. We ain't at the point where we like you, bro. We need every view we get, bro. Yeah, bro. We need all of them. And then, and then one time there was this one dude, he added me on Snapchat. So I was like, I did a video. I was like, I'm gonna sell these shoes for ten dollars. I was just fucking around, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he hit me up on Snapchat and he was like, I want to buy them the uh, dunks for ten dollars. I like, nah, it was a joke. I'm not selling them. This man was like, "Why'd you do that? You're a liar. You need to quit YouTube. You you should <laughs> go enjoy your wife." Like he was like trying to make me quit. Like you get under my skin. Like bro, get out of here, man. Shit was crazy, but that's only that's only it. that's all it was, bro. Hey, you know we're talking about a real heated subject. Whenever we start flexing again, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> man. No, man. What, what what about you, Skinny? I'm going. Oh, you already yeah, know what it is, oh, man. Bostic. <laughs> yeah, man, Bostic, yeah. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What, what happened? What happened? What happened with Bostic? What happened? You ain't oh, wait a minute. minute. You don't know what happened. Huh? No, it's viral, bro. It's viral. Man, man listen, man. <laughs> what the hell? When, you know, from when you first featured me on your channel, man. Like I was like, yo, I ain't unbreakable. I'm going back at you in the comments. No dudes like any anything like I I tell myself on my channel, if it's a bad comment, leave it. If it's a good comment, leave it. I get back to all of them. If it's a bad comment, I just get my aggression of the day off on them. Like man, f you. You know what I'm saying? They'll be like, yo, you old. I'll be like, shit, I'm not too old to stick this key in your mama's ignition. <laughs> no. <laughs> what did you say uh, in that one? I think it was that video when you was apologizing and you was all like, I ain't apologizing. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro, bro let, let's, let, let's not even talk about that video, man. Yeah, because, man. I, 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 that shit was bro, Bro, it, it That's was how I figured like, out about this channel. That's bro, it was, it was, it was, it was like I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Bostic, bro. But I still have a sense of humor, bro. Like that had me <laughs> rolling, G. Nice. Like I was like pissed. I was gone, bro. I'm I'm like I'm like skinny, bro. Why why you do that, G? But I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I, hey, I said, I fuck you, a man. Yo, man. Bum -ass I, I was just like push a team. A man was hiding to go fund me. <laughs> bro, this, this dude, this dude was like, this dude was like, I fell asleep two times trying to read it, bro. And oh, then, bro, listen, bro, then a the, the four-page letter. But listen, <laughs> on, then bro said, "Fuck you and your bum ass knee." I I just. I just yeah, I went too far with that. I went too far. You but gotta I mean, be, you gotta be, bro. You gotta be. If you had read his comments, if you had read his, the I did, bro. Started, I did my research. The video. I did my research, bro. I went to his. Okay, channel. thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, yeah. bro. Thanks. Bro. I went into it. He was talking. He talked a little trash. He was sneak dissing, but 
You yeah. got, you got one little problem with the knee, bro. I was no, like, oh. okay. You see, yeah. hey, you see, you seen the sneak this? I'm talking about. Did you go up under the video in the comments? Yeah, y'all sent like four comments to each other. I, yeah, I yeah, okay, 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 okay. Well, yeah. yeah, I went too far with the knee. I went too far. With and a line of duty. <laughs> and a line of duty, bro. You ain't got to say all that, bro. Like, no, bro. I had to say that. Because <laughs> I come from a different side of the, the track. I mean, I felt that's how he was talking to me in the comments, like, hey. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, bro, who you talking to, man? This man is cool, bro. What about what about you, Retro? Man, I ain't gonna lie, it's only like a couple couple comments, but nobody would see him because I'm petty as hell. I just removed him. <laughs> no, 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 bro, I, bro, I block him and then I remove like, him. I don't want that on my channel, G. Like this dude, like low key, it was just like I read it and buddy was like, it was me and twin. We had did a video. And you know, I wear like shirts, like bands and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the dude was all like, oh, wow, look at you wearing a Misfits hoodie. That, like, like you really know who they are or something like that. I was all like, what you trying to say, bro? Like, I don't know who the Misfits are. Like, is it? And my wife was like, is it because you're black? I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I don't know. She was like, that's what it seemed like to me. I was all like, man, I don't care. I had one comment. I, like some of the comments be like random stuff. Like this dude was like, you know, in your videos, you always refer to your shoe, t your shoe, sh your, the tips of your shoes as tips. I said, I know they call Agnes, but I mean, I just call them tips. I think that's easier <laughs> for me. Like you know, what I'm saying I ain't got to give you the correct. Well, I mean, I know yeah, what it, man. I know what it is, bro. If you know what it is, keep it to yourself. I was like, I don't care. Hey, that's me too. Like, I can't say medial and lateral and all that shit. I'm like, yo, this is the inside of the shoe. Yeah, outside. <laughs> Turn it upside down. Because well, I ain't gonna lie. I've seen some, I've seen some bigger, you know what I'm saying, people that do shoes. And sometimes it just seems like it's, like, written. And, like, I ain't going to lie. All my videos just come off the dome. Like, if I'm, if I'm looking for something, like, you know what I'm saying, sometimes I might have key things that I'm like, all right, I know I got to hit on this, this, and this about the yeah. shoe. But... I ain't finna write no script on how I'm gonna do the video. I'm just yeah, going. Like you got kicks and shit. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you, bro. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> what I do? No, nah, bro. I'm just fucking with you, bro. What I do? No, 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 here, G. Yeah. I, I, what about you? He got kicks, man. I actually haven't really had anybody. Like somebody told me to change my name, but that Watch nothing, out. nothing really gets under my skin. I don't let it. I've got thick skin. I work. I'm a store manager. I get cussed out every day. I'm gonna try to change my name, though. I'm gonna try. He said that there's a hit. His kicks. His kick. Yeah, it, it is. It's a uh, another. He got kicks with an S too. Yeah. Well, fuck him. Damn. <laughs> Watch out. That's my boy. Uh -oh. That's that's good. That's good. That's good. Got Buckeye City Soul. I ain't even read the comments. We got Buckeye City Soul in here. What's good, bro? Buckeye. Oh, salute, Buckeye. Yeah, salute to Buckeye for real, man. I, I, man, bro, I be having I be having so much stuff in my comments, bro. I done had my wife get upset. I done had my best friends get upset, G. That's it. Like, like I did like the, the video I got the worst hate on, bro. Was and same with you, the vintage was the one we talked about stock eggs, bro. Oh, you remember you did, oh. you remember, bro. You remember you did the green Gatorade sixes, G. Oh. You like are these bro? Oh, I did my comments, bro. Like they dag me in that comment section. Y'all ain't bro, never seen no what that much hate. Go to that video, bro. I got to go watch that, bro. I got hey. Hey. and the re and the reason why I read your yo um yo uh comments, bro, is because I'm just like, bro, it's like StockX is like guarded by like like eighty percent of like the sneaker community, bro. It's like you can't say nothing, nope. yeah, bro. Like I didn't, bro. Muggs was talking, man, bro. It, it went to the point, bro. I stopped reading the comments after like a day on there. Like I didn't even, retro. I didn't even go through and even delete stuff, bro. Like I, 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 I stopped. I stopped at this after niggas was just like, you need to worry more about getting on the treadmill than worried about how long they gonna ship and shoot, bro. <laughs> they bro, they yeah. was going in. I, I already just, know. I told they my did, wife, like you know they don't know like like I ain't gonna lie. Me and Da Vinci was talking about it. I was in uh. He explained to me what he was meaning by it. I was like, all right, I get you now. Because I was like, he was like, was it clickbait? I was like, yeah, it was kind of clickbait. Because I was like, the way I read it was like, 
oh, they sold me fake shoes, but it was more like, did they sell, yeah. like, did they sell me a fake shoe? I feel like everything is clickbait. And now I'm about to start hitting these motherfuckers over the head with clickbait. I mean, I mean, I mean, you want people to click on your stuff, bro. Yeah, you want, you want people to click. On, at the end of the day, man, if people not clicking on your videos, you're not doing a good job. Bro, that stock X video with that uh, finish line stuff, though. You say what? Vintage got everybody with that finish line stuff, though. <laughs> no, nah, not really, bro. No, nah, bro. I don't even know why I did that shit. I be bored. Hey, I really thought you got something for finish line, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, you said finish last sit, baby. <laughs> I, remember, gee, I, I remember last year, bro, I remember last year, bro. The goal was just to get some free stuff from champs, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I just I just always just wanted to get some man, champ sent me some free, some free shoes or or something like that, bro. That's I still, still, I still my goal. You say what? I still want that goal. I, bro, yeah. I, I still I still want it too, bro. But it's just like, man. If it happens, it happens, bro. If it don't, it don't, man. So, you got a whole sneaker event focused around you, bro. Like, fuck champ. I mean, the thing is, though, like, it's in Iowa. How many sneaker heads are in Iowa? Bro, it don't that matter, is, bro. That yeah, don't matter. Bro, bro. It's just like, I'm, I'm trying to, they, they told me it'd be busting, bro. Really? They told, me, they told me that the event, like he said, last year they had over 2,000 people there, bro. Damn. So he said. There is 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 growing as the years, and I had a couple people contact me too. Like, man, like believe it or not, Iowa act. They said they said the sneaker community, sneaker community in Iowa is different, bro. They said that you will get more people actually buying shoes in Iowa, like at the sneaker events, than like Chicago or like New York, because most of the time, bro, people going, we already got the shoes. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know, those are like Chicago, New York, LA. Those are cities that are just like flooded with shoes. But if you go yeah. into like a small town like Iowa, who probably never even seen the Green Gatorade Six, you know what I'm saying? Right. He said that those are the kids who 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 live there actually got money, and like the suburban kids, boy, they be going there, they be cashing out, bro. So I mean, you know, what I thought it was at first was somebody was trying to like you know grow like their show around your name, like they were just trying to you know build their name. I didn't know it was like a actual big show right. already. You know, yeah, like, yeah. They, this, this is this is the fourth. This is the fourth one that they had. They do one every year, so this is the fourth one. So I mean, bro. You know only how thing people I, be. Only thing I, you say what, bro? You know how people be though. They'll be like try to get somebody in there that has like a lot of subs or something like that to yeah, try to to bring, to to bring a crowd out. Yeah. I mean, I mean that that could be that could be it too, bro. But I'm just gonna see what it is. But I ain't never been to Iowa, so I mean it'll, right. it'll be a decent trip just to go. I hate I hate to go back on on some old shit we was talking about, but I ain't get a chance to talk about the hate mail that I get in my comments. <laughs> bro, look, I'm going I'm to be honest with y'all. When I first started doing YouTube, everything was lovely, bro. Everything was just great. I ain't had no problems until I did a video with Jumper Man Chris. Everything went downhill after I did a video with Chris. Chris got some of the worst trolls of all time. And Real. when I did the video with Chris, half of his trolls came on my channel and just went in, bro. It's this dude named Lickety Split. He said, <laughs> all my shoes are fake. Every last pair. I do pickup vlogs, bro. He, he still say they fake. I'm showing me at the, at the store, showing me get the shoe. I take it back. They fake. <laughs> nigga he saying, trolling. Bro, nigga saying, oh, I'm trash. Why you talk like you from Atlanta? Wait till we see you. I'm like, bro, it's a joke. What? <laughs> yeah, bro. They like you from Cleveland. You not from here. I'm like, all right, bro. We're going home, man. Nigga, stop me from saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Those G. Those my my biggest video of they fake, they fake, they could man G. I, I yeah, didn't get. I did a video with you. It was somebody. Oh, why you always give Unbreakable so much love? All the shoes is fake. I'm like, bro. Then oh, but then the biggest one I hate is uh, you spent blah 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 money on shoes. You really broke, bro. Bro, <laughs> bro. Dang. Those, those, those comments, bro. Those was the ones that I was, I was actually like, well, that, those was the ones that was pissing me off, bro. Yeah. Like, 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 it's, it's just like, bro. I, I hate pocket watches, bro. Like, yeah. oh, you spent twenty five hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. You need to invest in your daughter education. Those, those ones right there, G. Yeah, bro. Those, those are the ones that get me, bro. Cause I'm just like, bro. Sometimes I just want to go and just like pull up my bank account, bro. Why and be like, I got, up, why you bro, to pull your pocket money out on them balls? Man, 
Look, look, skinny. I want to be like, bro. I got three hundred fifty pairs of shoes. I got like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar collection, and I still got more money in my account to feed your family for two months, bro. Half the right, money, like, money just, I like, them, boy. Man, bro, it's like, like those, those are the comments. It's just like, 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 why hate? Why hate on another dude for like having sneakers? Like you watching a sneaker channel? Yeah. So, yeah. so for you to talk about somebody. You know who paid twenty five hundred dollars for a pair of shoes, but then you go watch, you go watch uh, Takashi sixty nine, and he goes spend a hundred thousand dollars on a watch. But that's cool though, right? Only spend a hundred thousand dollars on Chief Keith baby mama. They don't say nothing. Oh, he the gold. He the <laughs> gold. Know, bro, it's just like it's just like you watch the sneaker channel, and you get mad when people spend money on shoes. Oh, oh, bro, a- another one, bro, unbreakable. Oh, you a reseller now. Nah. Oh, it, it's your fault. I ain't getting my pair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's your fault. It's your fault, bro. I had I had twenty pair of Michigan twelves. Oh, oh, I'm, it, it, it's your fault. I ain't getting my pair of Michigan. Bro, you live all the way in Cali. How am I affecting you? Twelves. <laughs> <laughs> you famous out there in Chicago, though. You say what? Dang. Everybody know out there in Chicago. Man, <laughs> get, bro. Bro, <laughs> you, better, you better stay calm, bro. You said what? Everybody know you Chicago, man. You might want to lay low if they ain't getting their shoes, bro. Yeah, bro, bro. It's <laughs> over 150,000 pairs of shoes that are, that'll drop out in one weekend in Chicago. I don't care if I had it. I don't care if I got a thousand, bro. I ain't stopping the next man from eating, bro. That's my yeah, thing, bro. It's yeah, just I like you oh. said. You live no, I, am, I know what, what breaks real uh, favorite comment is, though. No, I know what. No. Stock X is going for this. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When like people that. be trying to buy shoes and they be compared, I can't. that shit, X. too. Bro, like, like if, if <laughs> I put up a post, T-Ward, man, Bro, t War went off on somebody, bro. <laughs> Thank I you, bro. Wasn't it over the 12s? Yeah. It was, it, yeah, bro, because it was I literally text t War and like, bro. Don't even comment to them no more, G. I did too. I did too. <laughs> Make mad, bro, I, bro, I hate, I hate when people do that, bro. Like, oh, they going for one. Okay, bro, go ahead and buy them over there on StockX, then, bro. <laughs> and, and then another thing, G. Like, I put a post up, bro. Okay, I'm selling a pair of Michigan Twelves, and then I got like a hundred people under me. I got a size nine. I'm selling. I'm selling my size. <laughs> bro, I be my page, bro, my page ain't for everybody to try to pop their pairs off, but yeah. but then y'all complain when I'm bro, it, bro, it be so much complaining, G man. Hey, nigga, it, take your ass down the street, let them fuck your head up. Unbreakable. <laughs> yeah, what's up, G? So that uh how one of the video I like that you did, bro, how to be a smart sneakerhead. I try to bite off that a little bit, bro. That was a good video. I know you got a lot of hate under that one, though. Oh, uh, Man, you know what, bro? Honestly, I didn't, bro. You know, you you know, you got your your, your smart Alex. Like, oh, everybody should know that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I mean, for the most part, bro. That when I when I posted that video, bro, that was my first wave. Yeah, that was my yeah. first wave of like views, bro. Cause I I think I posted that video at like at like five k, bro. Yeah, that's and then like up. once that, bro, it took all to like six k. 7k 8k then 8k was slow then it went to 9k and 10k then you know it's just been kind of kind of steady after that man but that that honestly was one of the videos that honestly put me on bro because that video that video got me 70 i think it's at like 76 000, uh, 000 views yeah, like ninety thousand, bro oh but but the but the video that honestly got me to to you know sneaker con's attention bro was a video I did with um the outlet vlog. That video oh, is like 136 bro. That's the one they were I'm like, how y'all even find me, bro? bro? You gotta do that more, bro. I know they always got some heat down there in the outlets in Chicago. And the crazy thing is, bro, I ain't I ain't been there. I ain't been there since I only really go when they had like the 30% off friends and family. Because mm-hmm. other than that, I mean they just got some random stuff. But me and Snipe was talking and he was just like he gotta find his niche. You know his niche, like we all gotta have a niche. I ain't say bitch. <laughs> he gotta find his niche to uh to um you know to actually put him on. You know what I'm saying? Like we all, cause like my stuff was the early reviews or the the you know information type thing. But you know he gotta find his thing to you know to, to take him to take him to that next level, bro. I ain't gonna lie though, man. Like 
like I I've been messing with Snipe Channel. It's like it's different already. Like yeah, you got the energy, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. I really the appreciate comedy, it, yeah. but the comedy, like every time I know he's coming on, I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All you gotta, all you gotta do is get some merch, bro. All you gotta do is get a shirt saying "What's going on?" And on the back, buying that shit, bro. Hey, you gotta the dance moves. No, but I, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna start. Hey, he was, de- hey, he was dancing in that. In yeah. that in <laughs> hey, he was feeling it, bro. <laughs> you doing that crazy. Crazy. <laughs> no, no. Uh, what I am gonna do, though, I'm gonna start implicating uh skits, like small skits inside of each one, different than. Normal ones, like you know, sometimes people like Kai should do a skit or uh, what's the name, Mike from a Schnicker Life would do a skit. I wanted to do something different. It's more of the line of like Family Guy. Boom, you watch Family Guy, like like the time so and so, so and so. Boom, skit happens. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. thinking like incorporating them more like that because I'm a funny dude. I love doing comedy skits. I, I do them on uh, social media, so I just want to bring that on your Instagram. Yeah, so I just want to bring that because it's still me being me and it's kind of being different. So I just want to stay me. That's, that's the thing that put Kice on because Kice had a channel, bro, for nine years, but it actually took him doing his sneaker stuff to actually put him on because I know he was doing like them sneaker heads be like, and that's that shit what, is too. That shit was funny too, bro. And that's what honestly put him on, G. So it's just you know, couple. Hey, I'm breaking, <laughs> when you posted that pic on uh, Instagram. And them trolls got at you. You went off on that. Oh, uh, which what picture, bro? When you was like in the outlet or something, and you was like Chinese New Year six, Chinese New Year twelve, in the outlet, and they were like, uh-huh. "Oh, that's fake. That's fake." Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that one, <laughs> bro. I'm, you went off. Lie. You was did like, you, did "No, you go I don't lie. like my pictures. Don't even come up." <laughs> Bro, I, like, like for real, bro. It's just like, man, I, I, I just don't get it, bro. And then the thing is, man, we are in a male dominant community, bro. So by you talking smack about me or somebody else, only person who's gonna like it is another dude. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Ain't like, ain't like, ain't like we got females that's running through the sneaker community that that's gonna like your post, bro. It's just gonna be another hundred dudes that's liking your post, bro. Like I don't get why dudes try to be on that. On, on the sneaker channel, bro, you're not gonna get no females by by talking stuff, bro. So you not- you you and DaVinci's, y'all knew each other for like for like a while, like back when like you first started. How long y'all been knowing each other, bro? I, I think I had, I think I'm um I was the one who messaged you, right? Yeah, you hit me up. Yeah, about I million. hit up I hit up DaVinci. I'm like, bro, man, I like what you're doing. I see your channel, bro. Let's collab on something, man. Let's you know, let's let's do a, a giveaway or or let's just let's work together, bro, to just you know bring. You know, be the new new faces of this YouTube stuff, bro. Because at that time, bro, it was all was was you know nothing against none of them, bro. Because you know they laid the pavement down for us, bro. But it was just the Tony D's, the Bulls, the Kais, you know, uh, the yeah. Mike Coppers. You know, it was all pretty much the same famous faces, bro. But yeah. it's just like I'm like, man, you know, we got something to offer to this community too, bro. And and it's hard to do it by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know, Scoop, you know, Scoop, he he put on a lot of people, bro. He featured a lot of people on his channel. You know what I'm saying? Grant, like, like that's why I could never, you know, really. I mean, Scoop put me on his channel maybe like once or twice, bro, before the whole you did happen, bro. But for that, I'd be forever grateful because, you know, he got me to a thousand in like a day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's yeah. like, if I can do that, you know, if he could do that, just imagine that. You know, everybody team up and just everybody try to help each other out, bro. That's a fact, though, bro. That's at definitely the, a fact. At the end of the day, bro, it's like the money not going to dry up on YouTube, bro. But it's just like everybody, you know, a lot of people not looking to help, bro. It's like it's all personal game. Yeah. And I'm just like, it's shoes at the end of the day, bro. This materialistic stuff, bro. The world blow up, bro. We ain't got none of this. You know what I'm or saying? The, the app shut down. Like we talked about that foot action. Nigga. This app shut down. It's, then what? You know what I'm saying? It's just an app, bro. It's it's a wrap, bro. If YouTube was a if YouTube was a die tomorrow, bro, a lot of people be hurt. You know, we, oh, oh, now now we are just dudes with shoes, man. We ain't no sneakerheads no more. So, but I know if YouTube was a was a crash tomorrow, bro, I still got your number. I can hit a right. retro. I got sniper number. Yeah. I got he got kicks number. You know what I'm saying? We still can talk, bro. We we not doing this stuff on YouTube to be fake phony. You know, we all got each other numbers. We all hit each other up if we need some, bro. And and I feel like if the the you know people who laid the pavement down was more like that, bro, we all would be eating right now. Everybody oh, yeah. would be at sneaker con right now, bro. But it's just like you know what I'm saying. It's just like 
mugs not, you know, they ain't really trying to to, to lend a help a hand. And when I was at SneakerCon, you know, Sniper was like, he just trying to get there. So when I went up to the guy SneakerCon and I threw, you know, a bug in his ear for Sniper, bro, and that's what it's all about. It's all about how to help your guy because if something happened to me, bro, and I can't cop some shoes, but I know Snipe can, it ain't it ain't like, oh, damn, well, I ain't trying to help him out when he needed me, so I'm scared to ask him for something. Yeah. I know if I need anything, I know if I'm in Atlanta, Snipe got me. If I'm in Kentucky, I know he got kids got me. If I'm in the Carolinas, I know Skinny got me. If I know I got to go overseas to Germany, I know you and Retro got me. And that's what it's all about, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Yeah, I know all y'all to help me out except for Skinny. I know uh, WizKid helped me out with a couple pairs of shoes. Ford. Oh, not Cyber Jones helped me out either, bro. He phony for that, bro. Available <laughs> <laughs> you know, kicks to help me out with some kicks too, man. I appreciate that for real. It's not yeah, sniper, sniper pussy though. It's, it's Damn. Just- Damn. 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 Damn, y'all young fellas be throwing them words, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about some young fellas. Damn. Hey, skinny halfway out of here. That's a hey, he. <laughs> Damn. Right, skinny, yeah, skinny got the fan band with him, man. Hey, I already did. I already did my video for the day, bro. So I'm man after this. Bro. Oh, I got a question for break. I got a question for break. I've been wanting to ask him this for the longest time. No, he won't marry you. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a fool, bro. The answer is seventeen. He got kicked. What? Nothing, bro. Just go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do you get your videos up in like thirty minutes, bro? Because I, I I edit I edit on my phone, bro. Uh-huh. So I'm, I do all the editing on my phone. I shoot I shoot it to my computer to uh I shoot it to my computer just to, like to add the music on there, and then I just send it straight to uh straight to YouTube, bro. Yeah, it took like 15, 20 minutes for me. Yeah, bro. It don't, it don't take no time when you shoot on your phone, bro. But but man, I gotta give y'all props, G. I gotta give y'all props. Like the vintage, uh um snipe man. He got all oh, bro, y'all, y'all thumbnails, G be fire, bro. I'm bro, I nah, feel like I'm still in the 80s with my stuff, G. I'll be I'll be look, I was look, look when, when, when I when night. I when, yo, I'm coming G. down there one day just so you can show me how to just Photoshop. G when when I when I seen Da Vinci start start stepping up his Photoshop game, I'm like, bro, how you do that, G? Like, we have to have a whole a whole FaceTime uh conversation. Nah, I, G. Remember, I remember that, man. I remember that. Oh, just for, just for him to show me, but I I've learned how to you know blank out the shoes, bro. But I mean, man, it just it's just a lot, bro. In order to to actually get this stuff with the editing and then the thumbnail, bro. But I feel like all that goes hand in hand with having a successful channel, bro. It got to be appealing for that person to click on it, man. For real, for real. You see, like, I was I was telling, like, on a uh, break one day, you know, I was just like, hey, you know, I, I don't have my face in the game yet. Like, y'all have y'all's faces and stuff like that. I'm really just enjoying the process and enjoying y'all's success because y'all are my family. And, you know, it really means a lot to have y'all behind me and been supporting me since day one. So, mm-hmm. like, y'all are really the faces. I'm on my way. I'm not really a YouTuber yet, but y'all are already there. And like it's just a blessing to be able to call you guys like my brothers. Like it's it's dope. One thing, one thing I can say, y'all, for real, for real, man, is when it come, bro, be ready for it, G. Like, like, like this traveling, bro, like physically, G, ah, bro, like I ain't ready for it, bro. Like, like the traveling, bro, it's been like literally wearing on my body, bro. So that's why I told my wife, I'm like, Monday after I smash this Popeyes tonight. <laughs> after, I get, <laughs> after I get this pizza in tonight, G, it's like I, I got I gotta work out, bro. I, I gotta get in shape, bro, because it just it just takes a toll on my body, man. And then you know, with just all this traveling, bro, like sneaker con gonna be in in uh Australia next month, bro. So you know, like I got the passport. Like, I don't know what they eat out there, so it's just like I gotta get my body to Bro, to to some, bro, to at least you know just adapting to new things, man. So so when it comes, man, you know just be ready for it, bro. And another thing, G, I say count count the blessings, bro, because you know we we complain about you know not having this many subs, bro. But it's just like, man, it's gonna come, bro, because it's been plenty of times where I just want to quit, bro. I'm like, damn, I'm like, I'm at four thousand subscribers for how long, man? Yeah. Like like it it, it, it takes time, bro. It takes time, like don't rush the process because you say what, bro? 
once you get to one K, does it get easier? Nah, bro. I feel like uh, it gets harder, man. It gets bro, it, it it gets harder with every sub you get, bro, because it's just like you gotta constantly come out with different content, bro. It's just damn near like it's it literally is another job, bro. And it's then literally- like the more subs you got, the more of a letdown it is if it do bad. Because you got yeah, all yeah, these yeah. subs, that shit still do bad. You like, damn, at least when you had a thousand and you yeah. only get a little bit, you like, all right, that's cool. But then you got a hundred K. And you get 20 views, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and this my thing. Like, my thing is, I understand I would understand more if I put out a video, it get a hundred thousand views, and people are like, man, I hate this video, it's trash. At least you watched it to see. Yeah, but if man. I put up a video and it got a thousand views and I got a hundred K subs, y'all didn't even give it a chance. Like, y'all didn't even watch it to give it a chance. A lot of my videos that don't have the views, it'd be lit. And a lot of my weak videos be going dumb. I'd be like, bro, y'all not even give it like the yeah. view shows if you even gave that video a chance. They not even giving it a chance, bro. I don't but, get that. Like, but, most of my views come from my own feeds, bro. Mm-hmm. I had I had bro, I had to I had to stop complaining, G. The day I literally just looked at the metrics and be like, okay, I'm at I'm almost at 70k, bro. But I'm I'm still hitting numbers with people with a million subs, or I'm still hitting yeah, like yeah. tiny numbers and bull numbers. Like, like I got six, I got almost seventy. But some of they videos, like Mike Compass, I looked at his last video. He only had like twelve thousand. Yeah. And I was like, man, he had four hundred and something thousand, bro. So it's just like, it's like, what do you got to continue to do to keep your audience, like, you know, going strong with you, bro? Because I mean, we all gonna have our day ones, man, but. Bro, it, it 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 do get depressing, G. Especially them videos. You like, alright, bro. This this, this is gonna be the one, G. Bro, this bro, be the one. bro. Boy, you post that bro. video, boy. I wake up to a three thousand. Like, God, damn. <laughs> How you like? Should I take this motherfucker down or not? <laughs> <laughs> but, then it, but, then it, but then it be the it. But then it be the the dumb video. Like, I'm mad at StockX, and then that mug get fat, bro. That video got literally 6,000 views in an hour, bro. Bro, the video I'm that like, me and you did down here, that shit didn't even hit 500. That video was lit. Yeah, that video but, was yeah, lit. That it didn't hit 500 lit. yet. That shit didn't even hit 500. I'm like, fuck it, bro. Video me and Tony did at Puma. That shit was dope. We met Big Crip. We got to meet po- the fucking people from Puma, the influencers from Puma. Nothing. That shit ain't, I only did that shit like 600. But I did a pickup vlog on like some weak ass Jordans. 7k 8k thing i'm like man fuck y'all <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that's what it comes down to sometimes bro you just, all that positive stuff you want to sometimes it's ah it's okay but sometimes it, fuck y'all it, 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 it. And you know what i noticed though with the algorithm it's like with tony and and mike and them and bull it's like they can get away with titles that smaller channels can't like if tony mike is the king of that bro Mike yeah, Rich is the king like, of that. Like, like if Tony make a video like me and Unbreakable went vlogging, it's going to blow. But if, if if I say me and Unbreakable went vlogging, it might only do like five, six hundred, two, I three talk, hundred. But I, if I say Air Jordan 12, retro Air Jordan 12, me and Unbreakable cop, it might do seven, eight. Yeah, it, it was crazy, but I was telling I was telling him because uh, break. I don't know if you remember. But I dropped the video. Before I dropped the video, I was like, yo, man, could you help me with a title? I can't think of one. And I was like, nah, never mind. I got it. The reason why is because I had a feeling I wasn't going to get no love from that title, bro. I was like, man, fuck it. I'm going to just go for it. I was like, fuck it, man. It's just all, G. Mike Rich, Mike Rich should be like, Mike Rich should be like, I had to pick these up. That's all he <laughs> said. Oh, no, 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 Mike, no. Mike Rich is, like, I've been selling it, bro. Mike Rich is the best nigga YouTuber, bro. I don't care what bro, I mean, bro. bro, Mike Rich. Mike Rich will post an on foot on... Bro, he posted the on foot on the cement tins, bro. bro a thousand views in 17 minutes. I'm just like, bro. I literally, I literally in the comment was like, bro, you are the GOAT, G. That man is the GOAT, bro. Bro, I was one of the first ones on YouTube to post the cement tins, G. I think, yeah, I think it's probably good. maybe like 12 or 13, bro. But one thing I've noticed... Is that like a video like the cement ten? Like if my cement ten video is at like thirteen thousand right now, come around release time, it'll jump up to maybe like 25, 27, G. But yeah, I know but that like, too. Most people, most people, most people will look at the early reviews, but when it's like the week of, then they'll really start uh 
going to the more channel to it. Yeah. That's how my uh, South Beach 97 uh, video did because I got it like two, three weeks early and uh, because City Gear messed up and sold them to me. So whenever mm -hmm. um, the week of, like before leading up to the week that it released, it uh, <laughs> like 200 <laughs> views like that, and it was terrible. And then after the release, it had like 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah, but one thing like even you did the video with the uh what they messed up the shoes like that should have been that like, video should have got you dumb, bro. bro. That that's that video right there should have put you on the map, G. But it's just like most people, bro, and, and I said this in a in a skinny vlog, like most people not educated on certain things when it comes to shoes, bro. It's just like all they want to see is unboxing and early reviews, but when it comes to like a factory flaw. They like what the hell is a factory flaw? Your shoe's fake. They see that shoe, bro. They gonna instantly think it's fake. Instead of a factory flaw, it's a fake shoe. Like my sample. Don't nobody want to see no samples because they don't know nothing about the samples, bro. So it's just yeah, like yeah, they yeah. they not educated on a topic, bro. Like, hey, hey, hold, on, hold on, y'all boys. Hey, y'all hold it down. My daughter crown. Hold on, I'll go back. Oh, go ahead, bro. All right, my daughter crown. Like, <laughs> These Michigan, I mean, these Marquette Fords, bro, is probably one of the coldest samples that I have in the Damn. collection, bro. But it's just like, don't nobody care about this shoe, bro. These ain't releasing the Foot Locker, bro. I don't care about them. I can't get them. So why I'm going to watch a video about a shoe I can't get? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just know like, a little bit about it. That video, that video just hit 1K. Like, Which just one? the factory flaw. Yeah, bro, that video should have took you to the moon, G. Bro. I, 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 I it's saw like, the vintage that too. I was like, man, he gonna blow up off of that video. Which one? Off of that factory flaw. It was on the nine, wasn't it? Where the jump man was upside down. Yeah, see, like it's like what Brake said though. Like, no, nobody really understands because you don't see them. You don't see that big of a factory flaw. Like a lot of people was like, that's not even that big of a deal. I was like, you don't understand, don't understand how the significance of that motherfucker. Look, like, at, you uh, look at the people that had the uh, what was it, the gold toe or something that was backwards or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah see, it's literally like the same thing because the only thing that's red on that entire shoe pretty much is the jump man, and the jump man is upside down like they it's saw, ridiculous. They sold them doggone uh, gold toes that was messed up for a stupid bread. Yeah, he can't. Yeah. 50. Wow. I don't know who spent that, but Unbreakable, you got people in my comments and in my DMs saying mild sauce. I just want you to know that. That's, <laughs> that's it. That's it, bro. <laughs> not not no conversation. Not how you just <laughs> right, that's it. End of story. I'm looking at yeah, Chicago mild sauce or something, bro. You know, you, you remember you gave me that, that tea, bro? Half fruit punch, half peach, bro? Oh, my God. That, you, you know, yeah, that shit was banging. Oh, bro, that mouth sauce is that crack, bro. Somebody That's told me about some stuff called, uh, somebody, it's like Gord, uh, Gordon's Popcorn. They said try that out or uh, something. Garrett's, Garrett's, yeah, Garrett's Popcorn. Garrett's Popcorn. Yeah, bro. And they told me to try out Piece of Puffs, whatever the fuck those Piece, Bro, you don't know what a Piece of Puff is? Nah. Wow. What, I mean, that shit sound like a pizza roll or some shit, right? I mean, it's oh, damn, bro. Come to Shot Town, bro. I told you I'm coming back because uh, we didn't really get a chance to kick it like that, like when we was going there. Bro, that's Chicago good. got some of the best pizza. You can't go wrong with a Chicago style hot dog. You can't, bro. Bro, hey, you ever heard of Mickey's? No. Nah. It's, it's in Chicago. Retro, you said Mickey's or Nicky's with an N? Mickey's. Mickey's? Nah, I ain't never heard of Mickey's. I heard of Nicky's, though. I go to well, uh, Mickey's is more so. It's kind of like it's it's by like uh, it's not it's not like in the city. It's out there by like uh, Bellwood. Okay, okay, yeah, I know, I know what area you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? What's but, skinny going? Skinny going too. Yeah, I, boy. Man, I love right. I love right. from Chicago, man. I just I just that's why my sister ended up moving there after she wanted to go take care, um, uh, help out with my grandma before she passed away. Uh huh. So my sister, she stay on the west side. I mean, on the south side, right there downtown. Oh, true that. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, downtown Chicago, bro. When people think of Chicago, bro, like like downtown is a beautiful area, bro. Like Illinois as a state, man. You know, every place got you know the dope places, the expensive mansions, and then you know every place got like the 
the jacked up areas, but when it comes to Chicago, bro, everybody instantly thinking like all the gun violence and all the shooting. Yeah. It, it, it is well here, G, but like I told uh, Sniper, bro, it's certain areas that I refuse to go to, bro, and I, <laughs> I'm not doing it, G. I ain't doing it no matter what, bro. That boy say he ship even if you live next door. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, love, enjoy. <laughs> so Yo, wait, you, do you still like you still ain't listening to the Drake album yet? You said you're gonna check it out when you got back to the house, bro. bro. Come look, on, bro. Look, we look, 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 I, I, I downloaded it, G, and and I'm smiling because this is uh, this, this this the intro, bro. This the intro to my uh my video today, bro. Hold on, look. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I'm I'm like I'm like bro, what is everybody come bro? Then I listen Yo. to the song. I'm like bro, they got a whole challenge for that, bro. I'm like Yo. man, I'm I'm like Gee, I'm feeling that, bro. That was, that was <laughs> yeah, bro, but man. Right. So I heard uh, snipe. I heard he put you on the cookout. Oh, oh yeah, bro. yeah, cookout was banging, G. For the five Bro, that Red definitely was one of the dates. What? You said what, right, bro? That strawberry cheesecake shake. From like from where? That. Cookout. Cookout. That joint like that, boy. <laughs> it's like that. I, I, I get it, bro. I, I got the fruit punch, G. I, I needed that high C, man. I was, it was in that too joint hot slumped that over. Day. I almost ain't making to the crib. You said what? <laughs> I was in that joint slumped over with the itis. Yeah, <laughs> bro, that, that five dollars got got you right, baby. Baby girl, good, bro. Oh yeah, she good. <laughs> no, no sleep, G. No, no sleep, man. You been getting some sleep, bro? Nah, that's been real scarce, man. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm already knowing, bro. Man, three years old, and I still barely be getting sleep, man. Damn, don't scare me like that, bro. That boy, the vintage be wearing that hat in the bed on on, on me. <laughs> <laughs> you having them long days. He ain't getting dressed no more for we get in the bed, bro. He just got a full fit, shoes and all. Man, I be having time to do my homework and fucking go to sleep. Hell you, bro. Do y'all do y'all got a set schedule where y'all normally post y'all videos? Like what time? I do, bro. Uh, I, I like, like to go like seven or eight. Bro, Maybe. my bad. You can my bad, bro. No, I was just saying. Uh, I like to. My a lot of my subs, I figure. Like being school and shit. So summertime, it's a little bit more lax. But mm -hmm. during school time, I try to go for like seven, eight, nine, somewhere one of those three. That's like by the time everybody at home, relax, sitting down, about to go to bed or just chilling out by the end of the day. I hey, appreciate yeah. that, Buckeye City Soul man. What do you say? Oh, he said congrats on my on, on the little one. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. it's crazy. Like for me to post a video, I be having to stay up to like one o'clock in the morning. You don't just have to do that. You don't have to, bro. You can schedule them. But unbreakable kicks. What's the best times, bro? You should. You say what, bro? He can, drop, he, he can drop whenever. So he can, you know. man, nah, bro. Because because sometimes, bro, like I didn't drop one at like eleven o'clock, and that joint blew up, bro. Me too. So I did that one time. Nor, nor normally, normally, uh, normally, I try to go for around like between six, six through nine, bro. Those normally, those normally my my uploading times, bro. Like I just did a video. I, that video is like twenty two minutes, so it'll probably take me like thirty to edit it. Take probably like fifteen minutes to upload, bro. So it probably be up at like eight thirty, bro. Eight thirty. No, that's what I'm saying. I upload my videos at one over here because it's like seven at night where y'all at. But the thing is, though, one one thing one thing you gotta do, like I seen Snipe been doing it too, is like once like once I post. Bro, I instantly get to uh, I instantly get to um, like promoting it. So I throw it on my IG. I yeah. throw it on my Facebook. Yeah. You know, that's like I, yeah, that's something I stopped doing, bro. I ain't gonna Twitter. Lie. I, I throw it. I throw it on my Twitter. Like like I was. I'm I'm in like 50 shoe groups on on Facebook, bro. I don't do it no more, bro. But I used to flood them Facebook groups with uh with every with every video. I know Scoop. He'll he'll remove you if you post up post your videos in his in his group, bro. But I mean, I I go from. I post on, I uh, get the video up, I um, send a link on my Twitter, then I post it on IG, then I post it on my Facebook, then I throw it in all my sneaker groups. See, and that, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I don't really post like, video, like promoting videos on Instagram or nothing like that. 
You got to, bro. You got to, cause that's that's still self promoting, man. I tell everybody, can nobody promote you like you can, bro? Can't exactly. nobody. You can, you can, you can pay somebody to market you, bro, but they don't know how to market you like like you can mentally, bro. So I'm like, you you got to be your own marketing team, damn near, bro. Every every time it kind of promoting something for you, make sure you that you the head leader of it, bro. Like. I wish, I wish my wife could help me out with some of this stuff, bro. She's like, "Do you need me to edit it, <coughs> upload, dude? All that, bro. I wish, man. But if I, if I wanted to be right, if I, if I don't want to have to go back and double check anything, I do it all myself, bro. Everything is done myself. See, I don't really promote like I don't do like posts. I'll put it on like, my story or something like that. But yeah, I, I need to stop doing this. But more people, I don't know how to do people, all that stuff. Bro, more people watch my story than they like my picture. Like, so I start, I start putting the stuff in the story. I do both, bro. I do story bro, and I do. Six, seven hundred people will watch my story, my story, and I get probably like two hundred likes, a hundred likes on Instagram posts. Like, hmm, okay, crazy. But then again, I don't got that. Story. You know what I do? You know what I do to get to get likes on on on, on Instagram? Show your biceps. <laughs> nah, bro. I be put, I be tagging people like Unbreakable in the picture. Oh yeah, bro, that work. Shoot, yeah, bro. Oh, I didn't even know that stuff worked, man. I I, I don't know all the all the hacks to. That's to the, the only thing that I know how to use on Instagram. Uh -huh, tagging people in it. Just tagging. Oh, it, it, if somebody stuff. go to your page and they look at your pictures, they are gonna see my picture on your on your page. Oh, true. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, cool. I know. Hey, I'm gonna start doing that shit, boy. I used yeah. to do that. Like, like, I used to do that when I used to like take, you know, like you guys in certain Instagram uh, pics, well, certain Instagram uh, profiles that just take sneaker pics only. Yeah, all, them all them pages, G. I be, yeah. I be like, tagging, I turned Buck that City Soul in my joints. Bro, I be tagging him in pictures. Damn kids, call my damn studio up in there. <laughs> we yeah. was wondering where you went. You're like, boy, I'm like skinny. Then, then just dipped on us, boy. No, I'm back. Damn. Oh, damn. No, nah, I was just saying. I don't even remember what what was I saying, G. You were saying how you thought I was the best YouTuber. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been saying that, bro. Um, <laughs> nah, you no. said uh, you tagging something. On your oh yeah, bro. I'll be tagging them little uh sneaker pages, man, and like repost my repost my uh sneaker pictures, bro. But I, I learned, man, it's like everybody's like connected, bro. Like like uh DS Dan, like he always get his bro. um his pictures on like um Z sneaker head and Pino, Jumpman like 23. Yeah, bro, like solely jump man and stuff like that, but like I heard, like he got a relationship with those people, man. But those, those be the pages, man, that can actually put you on, G. But it's just like you, you gotta like do like. I, I'm gonna but bro, I, I really feel like I posted the purple great sixes first before anybody, and they was giving photo credit. You know what I'm saying to everybody? Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, like, like I, I had the picture of the Michigan 12 before anybody did, bro. But I didn't want to post it because my guy from Finish Line sent it to me. So I knew if I was to send it out and everybody was to see it, he would have gotten in trouble. So as soon as I'm like, man, forget it, bro. I'll go ahead and uh just give it to Z Sneakerhead and them because they was thirsty for it. Then then some other dude from Finish Line posted it. Then everybody thought I was stealing his picture. I'm like, bro, I'm not stealing your picture. We just got the same source that we found out. But like when with the bio pages, like I was the first one um to get the uh, images for the bio pages, and Z Sneakerhead had gave me a, a shout out, but Pino didn't. But I'm just like, I'm like Pino, like I don't know, he's another YouTuber, bro. So Z Sneakerhead is not a YouTuber, so I'm just like, well, maybe Pino just look at me as competition, bro, and he didn't want to, you know, he didn't want to help out or something, man. But you know, they they be looking out for each other. They got their own little click too, like those big. Instagram like shoe pages, they got their own click, bro. Cause they mm -hmm. I noticed that they always they always like using like DS Dan pictures and and a couple other people pictures. So I'm like, it is what it is. I know my boy Fineline said that they wanted him to get him a free pair of shoes for a shout out, and he wasn't going for that. He like, no, nah, I'm good, bro. Yeah, so that free, I I got a problem with free. I don't like giving that way shit. Yeah, so I mean, I'm like, so is that shout out really worth two hundred dollars? You know, it's not. Yeah. You know, so bump it, G. Bump it, man. I'll never pay for a shout out. Like I don't, I'm, not, I don't beg. Like, 
Yeah, I, I mean, it, I feel like everybody should just help each other out, bro. Like, like, why would I, like, why would I charge like, one of my guys, you know, to to give him give him a shout out in the video, bro? That should just come. You man, know, I'm glad after. y'all y'all brought this here up, man. Because, but um, besides the vintage and sniper, you know, everybody else on here has been on the podcast, but that's gonna change though. Because I gotta get y'all on there, but yeah, um, definitely, man. Just let me know. The when first thing you hear, like, it don't even be like YouTubers, like y'all, like, like people, like that smaller than us, or like maybe like at the hundred, two, three hundred, and they're like, "Oh, you sitting there, uh, riding D to get people on the podcast." I'm saying it's just a simple, yo, would you be on or not? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, basically. And I mean, that's just the other type of hate that you get when you're growing. Yeah. Like how Unbreakable get a different type of hate than like channels like us. Like we about to try to break up. They like, oh, oh, they mangling with them boys. Especially when Tony D was on. It was like, oh, I wonder what he gave him. What what he bought him? I'm like, bro, it wasn't even like that. Bro. It's like we it's like they think you hoeing in order to get somebody. Like you sold your body yeah, in order to get, get on, the on, the on, the on the channel. I'm <laughs> like, man, it's crazy, man. I mean, yeah. they just don't understand just being a nice person and just reaching out and being like, yo, can we link up, do something? Because theoretically, bro, they don't exist in this thinker community, bro. It don't. They don't. They don't see a lot of people collabing, bro. If they ain't already made it, you know what I'm saying. Like you gonna see boy, you gonna see Tony D together. You know what I'm saying. You gonna see Kais with them occasionally, bro, because they already there. So for them to see, you know, me and Sniper, you know, vlog and they like, damn, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like when they become cool or, or or you know what I'm saying. Like I got some they, of those they, messages too. If they don't view you, if they don't view you as being on the same level, you have to do something in order for that person to work with you. And that, and that shouldn't and that shouldn't uh, it shouldn't be like that, bro. Yeah, somebody yeah. somebody sent me a dim like uh, what they say? Damn, it was funny too. That that, that was some troll shit. But I was thinking of YouTube and not Instagram. Somebody, it's so how much dick you had to ride to get that video? Some shit. See it was some saying? shit like that. See what I'm saying? But some of them trolls be um content creators though. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. I, after after we took that pic and I posted it, that same yeah, dude. Like it, the so. troll name because I swear. Like, I had posted the Michigan 12 vid, and, like, this troll just came out of nowhere. Like, this was around the, the Jumpman thing. I'm not accusing Jumpman of being the troll, but the troll, was <laughs> like, the troll was like, oh, wow. You should have known that that version was different from the samples if you're reviewing shoes. But yeah. anyway, but the, the tone of the text was like, you trying to school me? I'm like, bro, it ain't that serious, bro. I was like, yo, it's different. Da, 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 da. Oh, it is a big difference. You shouldn't <laughs> even be doing this. I'm like, oh, all right, man. All right, man. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's probably Forrest. You know, Forrest got a couple of uh, fake accounts. Like the same. Oh, yeah. uh, Forrest is a troll. Forrest will troll you from his account. He don't mind. I got somebody that's doing that to me, and I don't know who it is. Bro, all right, all right, but you got I me. I got somebody me. too, bro. Like, as soon as I post my video, bro, like, instantly, like, as soon as it hit YouTube, bro, I get a, a, a instant thumbs down, bro. I'm like, <laughs> somebody, literally, somebody literally, like, like a lot of, a lot of, uh, yeah. my son, maybe damn D that be trolling me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them think it'd be damn D that be trolling, but I don't, I don't think it'd be forced, man. But one thing I can say about damn D, I will say, like, if, if he really was trying to get at you, he don't have no problem making a video like. Oh no, nah. he he don't he don't man. But 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 my thing, bro. But Dan is, D got a known troll account. They say that Queen James, that's his account. For real. Yeah. <laughs> but my but my thing is, bro. It's just like, like like I don't I don't curse my videos, and I don't you know I don't portray like a funny character, bro. But like man, like. Y'all, they don't want me to go there, bro. Like, if, if I can, bro, I will, I will flame a nigga, though, in a hot second. <laughs> like, bro, I will, I will, I will, I will go in, rain, bro. Man. Sometimes I will you gotta go. get the rig, man. Bro, but, but I don't, I don't want to take it there. And, it, and this is not, and this is not me talking about him. This is just me in general. Like, 
Like yeah. I will, I will go in on somebody, bro, in an instant. That's I just the same thing. Yeah, to. I'm with you on that because well, I was I, talking I, to Forrest about that. Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. I, I, I just, I just choose not to, bro, because it's a lot of, bro. It's a lot of stuff that I peep, bro. I peep like my wife say. My wife be like, man, you be peeping all this game and you don't say nothing. I'm like, I just throw it. I just, I just keep tabs, bro. Keep tabs for that day. Like it may not be today. Like I'll let somebody go in on me for like a whole year straight, bro. But then I'll be like, you know what? When you least expect it, bro, that flag. it's a wrap. <laughs> it's, I'll it's a, on anybody. I don't care. It's a wrap, man. But 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 theoretically, reason why reason why I don't do stuff like that, man, is because you know you you just you gotta continue to have your channel like in the, in a kind of like in a light of where it all started, bro. Like I just can't put myself in that. In that situation, because you never know who's watching you, bro. You never know who's watching. Like we put this stuff out for the whole world to see. You know what I'm saying? Like I work with I work with students. You know what I'm saying? I work for a nonprofit agency also. So if I go on there being political, or if I'm saying this or that, you know, like the person who could potentially hire me for my next job could be a Trump supporter or whatever. Granted, I don't I ain't leaving my job no time soon, so I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like they could be a Trump supporter. So if I'm bashing Trump 24 seven, that could be my job right there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or if I'm going in on, or or like I, I know I I'm I effed up on on two videos, bro, and I've never done it since. Like I, I did the Chinese New Year sixes, G. I did the yeah. Chinese New Year sixes, and then a couple times in the video, I was like making like fake Mandarin talk, bro. And then like I had some of like my um my Asian subscribers. <laughs> They was like, you know, I'm breakable. Like, you know, you kind of hurt my feelings doing that. And then I, I, I never thought about, you know, like, yeah. you know, like that, that was foul. Like I was saying, like, I remember that bit. Like, like I was, I was saying, like, you I was like, immediately was like, I got them toy on, on, on. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that, bro. You a fool, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like I was like, but I got to take it as that, though. You know, I mean, yeah, like, bro, yeah, bro, we got to be conscious of what we say. You got to, bro. Like I was like, I got like the Boyan Sixes or something like that. G. And he, he did like Muzz was like, like, bro. So now you making fun of Chinese people, bro. So it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like so what about when you yeah, make the parody with... though? Do you regret regret making the parody? The damn D parody? Yeah. No, I don't regret doing that. Because that was funny. No, I know. I said you. Heard, I heard you say it was two videos you regret doing. Oh. Like that. Oh no! It it was just the two ones with the with me talking um in Mandarin, bro. Cause I oh, okay. I, I did it I did it for the soul. Hey, six, but then you did another three. video. You did another video lately, and you were like, "Excuse me, I don't have the best Mandarin, but this is what I'm trying to say." <laughs> because I I wasn't I wasn't trying to be funny, bro. I was trying to tell like I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm trying to pronounce it as politically correct. It was the soul threes. Yeah, it was the yeah. Soul threes. Was. I was I was talking, you know. <laughs> I, you I was, see something wrote on it, <laughs> and I was just making it up, bro. I was just making it up, but you know, it's, it's just little things like that, man. We just need to be conscious of what we do, man, because you never know the person who might be trying to sponsor me. You know what I'm saying? Like the person who may be trying to sponsor me may be married to an Asian lady. He's like, damn, bro, you blew it, man. Like now, my girl, like I, I still want to sponsor you, but my girl, like, nah, man, he, I can't fold for that. He talking about my people. You like yeah. them, but. It's just disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? So it's just little things because you got some bro who just be going in, ain't got no filter at all, bro. I'm just like, like D, like some of the stuff he be saying is funny, bro. But I just be like, damn, bro, like you, you really saying this stuff right now, G? Like, <laughs> yeah, like he, bro, he don't be caring, bro. And I mean, that's that's the persona that he put out there, bro, and that's who made him who he is, bro. So I mean, you of course you stick with who you are, bro, but. I mean, like, some of the stuff be having me rolling, bro, but I'm just be like, dang, bro, like, you don't be can, do you? Because yes, I, 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 I honestly, I honestly, me personally, I think SneakerCon would have been trying to get damn D out there, but he just got, D got a lot of people who don't rock with him, bro. So I feel like, I feel like it would be like incidents happening if he actually went. You know, not, not saying he not going to stick up for himself, but... You know, it's a couple people who probably don't rock with him. So if he travels from state to state, you know what I'm saying? He say what's on his mind. So I honestly feel like with his with his channel, because granted, you know, me and him, we haven't seen out of eye all the time 
he got a strong following. The dude got a strong following, man. So I'm sure it's plenty of people who would love to see him come out to, to sneaker events. But as sneaker con themselves, I feel like they won't send him out just because of like the type of videos that he do. And well, he could come himself though, right? Huh? Yeah, he, he can come himself. He can go himself, but I mean D cheat, you know, he's made that known. Like he already said that they're not paying me, I'm not going. But I feel like with his platform, they would have paid him, you know, had he not be so damn D ish to say the least. You get what I'm saying? Hey, so I know I know we talk y'all talking about that, but it's totally off subject for it for y'all. Um they push that release date to tomorrow morning. For the uh for the um for the threes. Yeah, so uh are they releasing on BSTN? No, nah, they releasing on Foot Locker. So it'll be uh, three in the morning over here. It it'll be <laughs> it should be it should be, it should be like two. Thank you. He farted when he did that, G. Man. Nah, man. <laughs> man, man, man. It should be like two your time because no, no three. Uh, we six hours. We six hours ahead of y'all. The six hours ahead of Georgia. So it'll be it'll be two your time. Um, okay. but yeah, like what Break was saying though. Like my staff, like I clean it up a lot. Like sometimes, like a cuss word will slip out. But like my staff at work, they'll be like, "You a completely different person on YouTube." I was like, "Yeah." I try to clean it up. Like I'll say GD a lot at the store, or, man. F this, or F that customer, this and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah, bro. Yeah, man. I mean, that, that just, that just, that just, that just something I learned, bro. Because like one thing I learned, bro, from my job, they always say is like you still represent your organization. So even though I'm at home being unbreakable kicks, I still <laughs> represent, you know, my organization, you know, or whatever, or whatever they want to say. I just, sent, not, I just sent you, uh, when, whenever, when all of it's done, I'll help y'all out. I'm going to show y'all how to set this thing up. Yes. Yeah. Help, help me set it up, G. I, I still got that, uh, that what's app too, bro. So I'm, I'm, uh, um, I'm sure going to get the information from you on that, bro. Hey, Q, hey, let's try to, let's, let's try to end this one at, at nine, man. Cause I got to, I got to make some runs. If that's cool with y'all. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, I got a question. What's y'all right. next pick up? <laughs> What's y'all's next pickup? Like next big release y'all trying to pick up? I'm not buying shit. After these fives, bro, I'm not buying shit until I go to LA. When I come back, I'm just start buying shit again. What's up? I don't think, think mine's gonna be those uh Fives. Those pine green oh. uh ones. Those who? Oh, pine green. I like I like them pine greens. Oh yeah, break. I told you, bro. We talked about those. I'm you what? They don't forget, but we talked about those, bro. I'm tough. So what the pine green. greens? Yeah, the pine green. Yeah, I'm hard. I like the purple ones too. Yeah, the purple ones too. too. Especially, you know, a hey, snipe, man. You didn't go to the ball event, the big ball event. Nah, man, that shit's so far from me, man. Georgia, a big place. I'm on the south side, man. Most of all that stuff that be going on be like an hour and thirty minutes away. Even when they came up to Soul Play, I went up to Soul Play one time and did it with Tony. But that shit was like an hour and 30 minutes away from me. Everything's so spaced out. I hate it. Oh, okay. And I hate driving traffic, too. Like... Me, too. Let's go, baby. Oh, uh, this is Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't know. What's my next pickup, G? My next pickup is the next thing that fucking released, G. Yeah. That's my next pickup. I'm picking up those uh, He Got Game 1s. Oh, yeah. Unbreakable already got LeBron's son shoes from when he gets to the league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he already I got forgot. his TVs right now. Yeah, yeah. That he got games, really, first. Whatever come out first. This See, I'm, everything, bro. Bro, my, my next pickup, G, I, I had to do a payment plan on them joints, bro. I already, I already, got, I already got 2000 down on them. I, I just need to pay another 1000 on them. Boys ran. Yeah. yeah. Three bands, bro. I remember watching you Unbreakable know. videos before I started doing YouTube. I took a break because I was feeling like I wouldn't shit. Like, my self-esteem was low as hell. YouTube self-esteem? Yeah, no, 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 no. My collection self-esteem. I would go back to my closet <laughs> and just throw everything down. Like, I ain't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I saw one went over uh, Wiz Kid house, bro. I was like, bro, I'm not doing something right. Yeah, hey, bro. I, I stopped showing my shoes. Show. Bro, I stopped showing my shoes in my videos now. I don't know if y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't show my shoes, my videos, cause the Wiz and Unbreakable, man. Like, 
Fuck. This nigga unbreakable. I don't know if it's unbreakable or or damn. Uh, what's your boy name? That the dude. Uh, that owned the only casino. Perfect. perfect. Yeah, I don't know if it's perfect pair or unbreakable kicks. I'm like, nigga, which one is it? You got everything. <laughs> perfect pair. Let's do this. I'll, I'll admit the first time I started watching Unbreakable and everything, like all the money he be spending, I started looking at that and I looked in my bank account and it has like a plus sign. So I started hitting that, trying to see if that would like add up to something. <laughs> yeah, when he, yeah, when I was he like, did oh. that Soul Korea 3, I knew he was serious then. I was like, oh, hell. Oh, yeah. When you picked him up, bro, I was like, right. yeah, you've got yeah. a lot. Your, 2000, your 2018 collection. At the end of the year, when you do a a, a, a roll up, that's gonna be a three part, TV. four part documentary on Netflix. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> yeah. this, honestly, bro, this this was the shoe. This the Soul Korea three was the shoe that that put me and conceited on like on like talking basics like every day because like I got in contact with him. I got a con. How did I get in contact with dude? I actually hit him up on IG. I hit him up on IG like yeah, G. You know, just check out my um. Check out my Instagram page, blah, blah, blah. I know you're a sneakerhead. So, you know, he responded, cool. The first shoe that I got him was the Black Cement 3. You know, he was skeptical on him. He, he was just like, bro, how do I know they're real? It's like celebrities, bro. Number one, they cheat. They don't want to pay. Number two, they um they, they skeptical on everything. But Casita, he a sneakerhead. So I kind of knew, you know, he got heat. So I'm like, man, you know, he. So uh, you said what, bro? He reached out to you? He reached out to me. That nigga had some teens on a while ago. I don't even know what type of teens they was, bro. Probably PS and Y. teens. He told me he was gonna win. So, um, so he he seen my video with a career three. She like, bro, is this you? I'm like, yeah, that's me. He like, bro, you legit. I'm like, nigga, I tried to tell you that a while ago, <laughs> but, but because because I, I I'm like, I don't know why you thought that I was having. You know, I don't know why you didn't think that I was legit. And the get go, he like, yeah, bro, you know, it's just a lot of people with face on Instagram. And I'm like, bro, but I tried to tell you, you know, but ever since then, he like, bro, take my number down. So, man, here we talk at least like out of seven days a week, we talking like three or four days out the week about like shoes and, and PEs and stuff like that, bro. But honestly, man, it's all about just making goals. Like last year, I said that 2018, I'm getting to PE. So right now I got like four of them. I got five of them. I got another one on the way. And, um, one one thing that I pride my collect one thing I pride my collection on, bro, and and real talk is that YouTube didn't YouTube did not buy my collection. I don't have this collection because of YouTube. I got samples because of YouTube, but I don't have my collection. Like my YouTube check, yeah, it'll pay for like two um two samples, but I had all this stuff before I started YouTube. Yeah. You got some you got some people, you know, on the Mount Rushmore who got what they got because of their YouTube checks. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of hard to be like, damn, you a legit collector. You know what I'm saying? If I got 10000 no. Let's say like Kais, he probably get 100000 a year, 150 a year from YouTube, not including sponsorships. So if I got like $300,000 a year from doing YouTube, hell yeah, I'm going to have every shoe that I ever wanted. But if I'm, a, if I'm a Joe Schmo who work a nine to five, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and have this, I'm going to respect this more than something, than a millionaire with this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, like, yeah. My boy, like, my my YouTube, like, my YouTube check now is like five bands. I get like five bands a month from YouTube. So, if I get five bands, you know, Tony D and them getting like 15, 20,000 a, uh, a month. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, Jeez. you know, cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they ain't got no kids. You know what I'm saying? They is. Cool, y'all can do all that stuff, bro. But somebody with a nine to five with a baby, a wife, and a collection like this, I respect it. And yeah. I think that's and I think that's why um Skinny got a lot of people coming at him for saying my collection better than Jumpman's. I don't think my collection is better than Jumpman. I just think that people was mad at Skinny because he didn't um acknowledge Jumpman as being like a legend in the game. But that's Skinny's opinion. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he should have got bashed for it, but you know, yeah, I, I got a decent collection, but I don't think it's the best. That man got five PEs, and I'm just trying to save up for a pair of shell toe Adidas. That's wild. That's my hell. Chill, bro. <laughs> nah, man, you, 
You 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 got them you got them what's it, them uh them Yeezys boy you you straight man I actually wanted to get them joints bro but I just can't get myself to keep them bro yeah <laughs> yeah we talked about it you said that all right well it's eight fifty five man I say we go ahead and do like the the whole individual wrap ups we're gonna start it off me so I'm talking yeah. All right, hey, look, man, I am Sniper Jones. Once again, uh, my boy DaVinci's will link my channel down below. I'm on the road to 10K, so please help me get to 10K before the year is over. That's my individual goal, I said. Uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by. Dang. Dang. What up, uh, everybody? Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I appreciate everybody stopping by. This is he got kicks. Like Snipe just said, DaVinci is going to drop the link below. My link and all of our links are usually in his description anyways. And appreciate that, DaVinci, for having me on again. Unbreakable, thank you for blessing us with the GOAT's presence. Let me go ahead and give a bow out. And I just appreciate, you know, everybody coming in because, you know, we haven't been able to do this in a while. So salute to y'all. I'm on the race to 1K. The race to 1K is almost over, so let me get there. So go ahead and sub Vintage Gang and sub the boy to Vintage because you already know he's going to give you that fire content. Yes, sir. I'm going to try. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, sniper content, bro. I got that. Sniper got that fire, bro. I'm trying to catch up with him. Thank you, bro. That means a lot, especially coming from, from your peers because when, when people tell you like they, your videos, that means a lot. But once people who make videos tell you that they like your videos, it just means a lot more because you know we're going to it. So I'm I appreciate trying to get like you with the edits. I'm trying to get like my man Unbreakable and uh, Wiz Kid with the, with the shoes, man. Y'all, I ain't never seen a uh, uh, skinny uh, shoe collection, man. Them motherfuckers be discouraging the fuck out of me. Hey, that was a um, I put up my shoe collection vid, but that was crazy because I was getting so much trolling before that. They was like. Oh man, this dude oh, this dude don't have no shoes. This dude just started. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, these dudes sick. I just don't feel like pulling out all these damn shoes. I'm about to move. Yeah. But I told him when I hit 2K, I was gonna show him. But yo, 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 it's Mr. Skinner here, man. Uh big, big salute to the vintage man. Um, man, hey, this is my first time meeting my man, and uh he opened up his platform, man, to me and uh Skinny Gang, me and uh, the Skinny Gang will always be, you know what I'm saying, indebted to you, my brother. And um, the link to my channel will be down below. I'm trying to hit 5K, you know what I'm saying, before the year is out. And I know we can do it, you know, just a simple subscribe. And salute to everybody in here, man. I really look forward to working with everybody in here, like, on a personal level, like, and vlogs and stuff like that. And, uh, hey, man, y'all already know how we end it. So, Luke. Wiz Kid. All right, man. It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. Appreciate y'all tuning in to the Vintage Channel. Appreciate you having me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate all y'all coming through. You know, everybody sharing their opinions and just getting together and showing that, you know, we can all get together and talk about stuff and we ain't got to be segregated. Like, like, like you say, like you said, Unbreakable, where people don't want to help each other out. Because at the end of the day, you can learn something from each and every one. I learn stuff from each and every one of y'all. Just like any person, you can eat off of somebody else and learn something. So, y'all hit that subscribe button for all my brothers, man. And uh, appreciate you having me on the platform again, bro. My boy, Lil AK. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wiz got his hoop airing in. Yeah, our boy got the uh, boy got the MJ and what? What year? What year was that? Uh, break, break them. Look, hold on, quick story. We go to Foot Action. They got the Flight Twenty Three store. Eight different pictures of Jordan. This nigga told me what year it was. Oh, <laughs> uh, what he ate that morning. Oh yeah, see here, we got Jordan in '96. You can tell because they had the pinstripe alternate uniform. I'm like, God damn. I'm like, bro, that was that was crazy. That was crazy. That shit was crazy. Bron still better. Go ahead, bro. End it. End it out. Uh, break up. <laughs> I like that. I like that, bro. You feel me? Hey, the bitches, you you a LeBron fan over Jordan G? Yeah, Come on, know. man. You know yeah, this, bro. The bitches just turned twenty two. They're Laker <laughs> fans. Now. He hasn't even seen the Hardwood Classics. Hey, I have. I have. They Laker fans now. Ain't nobody what? said that, bro. Ain't they nobody like said that. That's what I'm I saying, said man. That, bro. That's Ain't it, nobody- that's it. At the at the end of the day, y'all y'all still a little bro, man. But um, it's unbreakable. Um, pushing, trying to get the seventy three k, so we can go ahead and do that collection video. Um, man, I appreciate y'all. 
I appreciate the vintage. Honestly, when it comes to brotherhood, the number shouldn't matter how many subs you got. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about helping each other out so we all can eat. Because at the end of the day, if you're the only one on your team eating, something ain't going right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to be eating. So, so um, boy, I know. I, I knew. Like you, bro. you say what, bro? I'm like, you meal, my nigga. That's what's up. <laughs> I, like that. I like that. I knew. Um, I knew Snipe was going to have a joke, so I want to pull these out for him. Oh! <laughs> oh <my laughs> To, to, to go ahead to go ahead and end it off. I knew he was gonna have a joke to say, so I wanted to go ahead. Oh and my the, God, bro! Room seven that he was talking about, man. But if y'all want to see more sneakers like this, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to Unbreakable Kicks again. <laughs> Today, I'm doing the collection video. Another than that, damn man. Yeah, another than that, you got Unbreakable. You got Sniper Jones. You got he got kicks. You got the Vintage World. You got the retro whiz kid. You got Mr. Skinny. And we out. We out, man. Send me a pick of those, bro, so I can play. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, All right man. Appreciate y'all, man.